it's time again for you to join us at Beans and Rice, where you join us for the laughter, but you stay for the advice. It's October 18th, Tuesday. Thank you for everyone tuning in. We appreciate all of your support. Again, take a quick look. If you're not subscribed, please do so. We appreciate all of you guys that share, guys and gals that share these videos with people. So, and whatever platform you're using, we appreciate it. But always take a quick look. It is the Butter Pecan. Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Oh, so next to me, we'll actually just start and skip over everybody. We'll go back to them. Someone who's holding two pistolones, El Conquistador, uh, La Bestia, Host Beefy. Six, 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 six. La bestia. <laughs> I had to get some and I fucking fell into a deep trance, you know? Yeah. And not that kind of trance, you fucking perverts, okay? I didn't fall in that kind of trance, you know? But it's glad to be glad to be here, guys. Sorry. We're also glad that you can join us <laughs> and I'm, get out of that I'm trance. I'm NyQuil, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that NyQuil that, chicken. That NyQuil and alcohol. But know? we'll go ahead and bring it back into uh, between us here at the talent table. We'll start at the very front, of course. Many of you are familiar with him. He is the Bishop of Tranquility, the peaceful protester, the, the Zen, Zen master, master Jimmy, Jimmy Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki. And behind Jimmy, you know, well, we got a lot of people behind Jimmy, you know, the fucking caravan. Everybody's fucking doing la vibora, is what it's called. When they do the snake. What is that one called? The cha-cha? La vibora. La vibora, you know, but we got a couple of <laughs> native vibora's. One, we got a... What is this? What is this uh, kind of be what over here that we got? The dream seeker and dream interpreter. We have the lovely Rakumao. Okay. And holding her, we have the uh, the healer. You know, when I'm feeling ill, I need a pill. Well, he's got the pill to Ibiza. Okay. It is none other than Filomeno El Hilo. Healthcare expert. Okay, but you know, sometimes Filomeno, you know, he likes to trek out in the deep country, you know? Yeah. And what kind of phone does he have? If he's out in the deep country, he needs to call someone. What's going to happen, us? Well, as long as he doesn't have an Android, he's good to go. You know? So he's got an Apple, Filomeno? No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, guys. He fucking have an he's Apple. got a fucking Google phone, okay? They say an Apple a day keeps a doctor away. If he had an Apple, you'd never see him. Yeah, they keep has him to away, you know? Yeah. Hello, Moto. That's his phone. Yeah. Motorola by Filomeno, okay? Coming yeah. soon. But behind him, you know, we got... Who do we got, us? The net knitter. You know, the one and only... Melissa, Melissa Sun Wukong Carter. Carter. Okay. And below <laughs> all of them, you know, people are like, oh, how's beefy? Your crops are dying. Your vegetables are looking a little pale. Yeah. Why are they looking a little pale, host? Well, it's because they're a little bit icy. A little frost has settled in. You know? And we've got someone watching over us. His name is Larry, Larry the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Yeah. Okay. And on top of Larry, to the left of Larry, okay, holding the two fucking glocks. That runs the Capillaries. fucking blocks, okay? About to shoot your fucking cocks. It's the one and only, the dark one. Post beefy. Sick, sick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't get two intros, you piece of huh? shit. We already introed you. It's because I was awake at the be at the beginning. Well, well now you're like, awake. I told you I forgot my, my seizure pill, you know? Because you can't talk about... Speaking you know? about seizures, we've got someone who sees his family at the border. Families, you know? Okay, a beauty in the corner, the wizard no, of hey, Oz. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you get to the beauty, you know? You gotta go through douche land. The beast? No, no, not not me. You got somebody. <laughs> you got a partner that. in crime over there. You guys, are, you guys keep forgetting about the guy. I was gonna do him. At, ladies first, okay. Ladies first. Yeah, no, ladies first. first. Okay, ladies first. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, after before I was brutally interrupted, <laughs> the beauty, the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> on the I, ones and twos, Ice, ice Agent, Agent Alice. Alice. Emphasis on the ice. ice. Okay. Hola. Yeah. And she's soft on the ice too. Sometimes. Can be. Yeah, that being nice. said, okay, we're going over to Dutch Doucheland as Dutch you put it. Okay. <laughs> um uh what what is he? He's the October fiend. He is the you know? Lederhausen lad. <laughs> the Wiener Schnitzel grabber. That is Gustasine Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger. Hey <laughs> <laughs> You know? And now we got a lot of good energy because maybe somebody, you know, they forgot some of their uh, some of their stuff last week, you know? The thing they forgot was their transgressions. You know, <laughs> somebody was having abortion thoughts. You think so? And that those thoughts have now been aborted. You know, but who do we got? We got, uh, you know, from uh, the Omega. From, from the, the Omega. Omega. Mr. J48. The uh, leading, the leading <laughs> candidate for employee, employee of, of the, the year, Javi. Let's go, guys. We want Cristo Rey. <laughs> what do you got in your hands right there? 
Oh, you want to know what I got in my hand? Let us know what's in your grasp, Bobby. Let us know what's in your grasp. The good boy. No! <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christo. Speaking of the uh, not Jesus Christo, okay, no. but someone who is also a candidate. For uh, employee, employee of the of year, year? Well, she did climb up the ranks quite a bit. She brought me some wings from Ring Wingstop. Okay, fat boy, I need a ten piece. She knew to cut that in half. She got me a five piece, and I appreciate that. And you gave me two, so you got yep. a three. Piece. So I had a three piece. Okay, you know that's a tie back to the previous uh, episode we had. <laughs> a three sum with you Alice. Know? Ladies, hit us up. Got that right, split roll. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, yeah. on the wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, That's underneath. why they had you like extra protein. protein. <laughs> <laughs> I like them wet. That's what she said. Well, who are we introducing now? Are we introducing Alice? Or... No, Again? we already introduced Alice. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and go back to uh, who's around the Omega from the Bodega. You know, we got a lady. She's celebrating still Mexican heritage. She's a little still Hispanic celebrating heritage, Mexican heritage. But she's got her rice farmer hat <laughs> on the knee. Cultural celebrations for her never have a time stamp, okay? They're, she's always ready. You know, because she'll abort, but she's also pro-choice, right? Yes. Yep, that's and what she, aborting she, She's for. celebrating Javi, why? Uh, because he exercised his choice. He you did. know, so she's he still did. celebratory, but she did lose a job. You know what I mean? She did. But who do we got? The one and only. The, what do you call her? The abortionist. Nissan. No, no, something uh -oh. else. The mobile abortionist. abortionist. <laughs> Nissan Hatake Abormoto. Okay. Ooh. Let's go. And behind him, we've been a little bit nervous because somebody's staring at us. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. From the plus, what is it? The plus size male model community. Yeah, he's in the community with me. <laughs> we hadn't seen him, you know, for no, a while. It's been a long time since we've seen him. Yeah. La, 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 Maybe a few months. La, 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 but... la, 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 what can you tell us about this special la, 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 fellow that we got, Hoss? He's an incredible chef, a curator of the charcuterie board, mm -hmm. a uh, basically an emissary for the food a industry. Vatican commissar or something. Yep. <laughs> A Vatican a, Mason. A connoisseur of all fine eateries. We have none other. El Papa de Mona Lisa. El Papa de Mona Lisa. We have L Luigi, Luigi de, de la, la Giancondo. Okay. Yay. And he's a little, he was on the wine a little bit earlier. You know what I mean? He was a little. <laughs> That's why I fell asleep. He was giving me some fettuccine Alfredo. He put this shit on me, you know? All the carbs. And then yeah. he fucked me, you know? He's like, oh. hey, oh, I want to see if my noodles al dente. I was like, what does that mean, you know? Oh, now you're He wants to noodle on your dente. <laughs> no, he said he, he said he wanted to see if it sticks, That's you right. know? So, That's like exactly it. what he wanted. He wanted you know? He gave you that Alfredo sauce. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that he blue showed cheese. you that rigatoni. Oh. <laughs> He's like, let me pull on your angel hair pasta. Uh, you know, rigatoni, watch out. You know, BLM, come on, guys. <laughs> let me see your <laughs> penne pasta. <laughs> oh, I gave him some of that. You know, what I mean? some of yeah. that penne pasta. You know, yeah. but it was a smaller one. You know. Yeah. He's like, let me go ahead and bow tie you up. Oh yeah, with some of that elbow. <laughs> <laughs> he put a good elbow on there. You know. Yeah. I'm going to use my linguini. Oh, yeah, dude. I climbed up in a shell, to be honest. Yeah, you know? did you? <laughs> His fettuccine buckle uh, puckered up. Oh, yeah. Then he's like, hey, let me pet your angel hair. You know? <laughs> that was what he told me. I was like, go ahead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oregano. He didn't want it. He didn't want it. Yeah, you know? Anyways. He was just trying to spice things up. You know? yeah. Trying to use that Italian season. It's been a long you... time, you know what I mean? Yeah, you He gave me a little fat pack, you know? <laughs> a little parmesan. <laughs> you know, it was aged, you know? He's like 800 years old, you know? <laughs> he was letting it sit there in marinara on oh. your back. <laughs> you know? On your back. And then he's like, hey, I'm going to give you some feta to make it better, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And Javi thought it was gross. He's like, oh, that's Oaxaca. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he was controlling me with the string cheeks, you know? <laughs> He's like, put some on my Velveeta. <laughs> you know? I had a fucking smiling like a fucking laughing cow. You know? <laughs> He's you like, know? oops, I just gave you a dollop of Daisy. <laughs> you know? Over in Cache Valley, you know? Yeah. How to lick a Stillamook, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and now, I woke up in what? The Land of Lakes. Oh, yeah, dude. Shout out to Sargento. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sacagawea, Pocahontas, Rakumau, and all other forgotten natives. natives. Okay? Uh -huh. Anyways. That was pretty nice, you know? Oh. Okay. October 18th, Tuesday. 
Alice, take us away on the holidays, please. Oh, oh before we start a holiday. Okay. Because oh, we birthdays. do have a couple things that happened, you know? Okay. We had a couple birthday occasions, you know? You know? Maybe. A couple celebrations. Perhaps. Some people that have been here. Somebody got... They, they threw cake at a woman's face. Did you see that? Yes. It was sister on sister crime, you know? Yeah. But we had a couple birthdays. We had how many birthdays did we have actually? We I had know a, two. I don't know how many more. There's like a couple more. Who did we have from the uh, watermelon farm community? Uh, my sister turned 31 this last Friday. So happy fossil birthday to my sister. Congrats. Relax, fossil alert. I'll probably show <laughs> you. Congratulations. No, I was talking about the watch. Yeah. I thought she got a watch. She had a fossil watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's very, they fossil very alert. detailed. Yeah. Because yeah. we saw her. She was like, I stay flossing in the candy plane. <laughs> she was flossing. She was not. Yeah, she she was flossing. Yes. So who else who, who else had a birthday? Uh, my cousin also had a birthday on Saturday. Which one? Uh, Santos my cousin and Marty Carlos. Concito, no. Carlos? Yeah, my cousin Carlos. Carlos, is it the one, the mechanic? No, he's not That's a mechanic. That's Victor's tires, man. Oh, God, you know? <laughs> but somebody that works in the Jantera, you know? Yeah, it's true. Some Who other piece of Jantera? shit, you know? Yeah, the oh, Beretta, Blanco. the Sig Sauer, a.k.a. Yeah. Glocko. Blanco. Yeah, Mr. Baldwin, you know? Yeah. The one that tried to kill Alice, that piece of shit. You, know? uh, you <laughs> tried to kill me, too. Hey, with love, Alice. You know, that's called affection, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to is. kill you with kindness. Come I'm yeah, sure with that's kindness, what you know? But it's... So who are we going to celebrate, you think? We got Carlos. Yeah. We got El Pistolin. And Karina. You know, and then we got Karina. Oh, yeah. then I have another birthday coming up another on Friday. Fucking birthday, you know? Jesus Christ. Whose birthday is it? It's uh the little baby. It does. <laughs> oh, it's the little baby's birthday. Yeah, the little baby's birthday on Friday. <laughs> on Friday. Yeah, little baby Victoria. She turns little baby two. Victoria. Okay, it's a big baby. <laughs> you know. <laughs> She was still little last time I saw her. <laughs> she is. She that was so, several months ago. She could. Who should we pick? Is Javi gonna let her, uh, help us pick, or what Javi's do you think? gonna pick? You know? Javi, you can pick Beefy because his birthday's coming up. My next birthday's oh, not yeah. even coming up. Come on, guys. It's not even. We can't celebrate my birthday early. <laughs> The hey, you think I am, you know? one employee. <laughs> 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 you <laughs> <ass. laughs> But we're gonna celebrate. Maybe we'll celebrate. But you think maybe Glocko? You know? Yeah, for sure. You know, pura vida, you know, yeah. pura vida. And uh, who else? Maybe Karina. You know, Carlos. He's kind of a piece of shit, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. He's it's Mexican American. Carlos. He Shout doesn't you, work Carlos. that good. Yeah, I love you know? you he's, he's his always... name implies he has no automobile or mode of transportation. Yeah. And I heard you still a little bit, Carlos. How can he be a mechanic if he's Carlos? Yeah, <laughs> he's got sticky fingers. You know, Carlos. So come on, and maybe Victoria too. Spider-Man. You know, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe has nothing Victoria. to do with it. Yeah. yeah. So we do Victoria, Karina. And Glocko. And Glocko. Big. So how are we going to say it? How Big, are we going to say it? Big club. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Karina Glocko Vicky. Karina Glocko Vicky? Sure. Is that okay, Alice? Yeah, that works. You guys okay. got it? Karina Glocko Vicky and maybe Javi, you know? Why? He can you want the start I oh, feel like Alice should Alice, Oh, off. yeah, because of her fucking family. So many fucking birthdays, Alice, huh? I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's the <laughs> Mexican side. Okay, well, what's it? Karina Glocko Vicky. Karina Glocko yeah. Vicky. Sounds like a Russian, you know? Am I, Karina oh, am I starting with the happy birthday? Is that what it is? Okay, yeah. ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you all. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday, Karina Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. What's wrong with you guys? I forgot what's wrong with you guys. It was All a of you guys. Game, you know? You just like the jumped Russian in. Got to me. <laughs> Karina. I was thinking about Karina Glockovicki, you know? Oh, yeah. I, hey. I think she's an actress <laughs> over in Russia, you know? Maybe. But Glockovicki, but well, now maybe she can take us to the holidays, you know? Yes, yeah. I can. Because uh, we're not going to say anything else about them. You know, not all that special. No. That's kind of rude, but okay. Uh, the first national international holiday is International Leggings Day. Leggings? Leggings, yes. First, I thought she said leggings. You know, it's like what's that? Mm. I thought that was a hate crime. You know? <laughs> it's, it's well, it's a. <laughs> You're gonna go leggings somewhere. Like <laughs> no, it's a derogatory term for Lith- Lithuanians. Yeah. Yeah. Lithuanian, it's a couple leggings. Yeah. You know. But the ones that are from there, they call each other ligas. Yeah. <laughs> a couple ligas. Yeah. A couple fucking lugias, you know. <laughs> uh oh, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> you know. So they got Andrew Liggins. You know, he's in. The, yep. In the NBA, the black one. Not yeah. the NBA, the LBA. Oh, the LBA. Yeah, the Lithuanian Basketball Association. Correct. Right? Yeah. Liggins. Who else? What? What else do they do in the Ligands? In the Ligands. 
Yeah. Oh, that's kind of hot. You know. You want to get in the ligands? They're people. You know. The ligands. The ligamus. Polygamous. I tore my ligamus. You know. <laughs> that's a spell. You know. Yeah. Ligamus. Uh, the ligamus. ligamus. Torteris. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no! <laughs> like, hey, the, like, what was it called again? The ligas, okay. The ligas, yeah. So they got ligas. They got ligas. You know, yeah. that's a tiger and a lion. You know, yeah. ligas. Yeah. Because <laughs> now you can't say the hard R. You know, they got the lie detectors. <laughs> <laughs> and you know they can't pass those in African American community. Okay. No, they can't. <laughs> I went to Africa a week ago. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Shmurda, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but what else do we got about uh, leggings, you know? Um, have you ever worn leggings before? Javi? <laughs> he was talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> the, the Javi used ones? to wear leggings, dude. The I'll tell you this. When we used to play soccer, yeah. when they came out with those like tights, you know, like, oh, it's better for circulation. The you can run fast or whatever. Yeah. He would be like a fucking a scuba diver scuba dive. playing fucking, you know? My whole body <laughs> Playing broken. fucking soccer, dude. That's what happened. It had way too much pressure and your body collapsed. <laughs> His no, knee bug, like, you know? I felt like I couldn't move without them, like, any any kind of sport. Yeah. I yeah. was playing soccer and I looked like a scuba diver, dude. You think it helped you or hindered you? I think it helped. It's, it's cause Javi, cause you know how they would like make you look buff. That's why yeah. Javi would oh. wear them. Like, oh, that makes I, sense. You know, that like, makes sense. He's like my chest. He's like, oh, what the chest? Like this. Everybody wanted to fight Javi, dude. He's like my chest, just bump <laughs> my, my back, back. <laughs> <laughs> my ligaments, and my crack. <laughs> you know, but people were jealous. You know, they probably sometimes were. remember when Gabe I mean, he tried so to steal jealous. your. He tried to steal it. Oh yeah, our brother Gabe. He tried to steal it, and dude. Look like a pig in a blanket. <laughs> I'll tell you that, dude. He's like, take it off, you know. He only got it through the neck, you know. He looked like one of those Africans with the thing, you know, with the fucking rings. I was like, what's going on, dude? Thought it was National Geographic like, for a second, dude. I was like, like babe fuck? with a neck brace. <laughs> Bar M U. Take it off, man. You know, you fucking pig. <laughs> and not the blue kind, guys. You know, Alice, have you wore leggings? I think Alice she would look good in leggings, huh? When she goes to work out. I, I actually so. do wear leggings just to work out, but yeah. I put shorts over it. You were a couple of Lululemons, or what kind of leggings are you? Uh, they're just like the Nike leggings. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I put shorts over it because I obviously am not comfortable with showing all of that. Some dry fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Magnolia, though, she loves to wear leggings. Oh, I would think she's got the wet fit, you know? The wet drip. <laughs> oh, I get it, because instead of the dry. <laughs> <laughs> Basic science, people. But what for oh. boys that don't got that kind of stuff, huh? They only had those ones. So the, how they have the compression rock? leggings. Compression or ones, yeah. what else? They have the dry fits, too, for guys. I mean, <sighs> that's runners? the ones. Yeah, that's the ones oh, yeah, I wear. Runners and bikers. Yeah, Which but... ones are those ones? They, they have the padding so like it doesn't oh. hurt when you sit on the seat for so long doesn't they run down cool your nuts stuff for guys huh leggings well, for guys yeah outside. they're called sweats <laughs> come on man it's yeah, leggings the aren't like we casual got is, like joggers I yeah think, i feel hobby's pants right now those are fucking leggings these are <laughs> leggings you know <laughs> they're defective the fucking bottom you know? <laughs> they just sold it to them <laughs> i'm a little thick boy so i had to stretch it out <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, huh? I don't think I've ever owned those kind of pair of pants either. You don't wear joggers? They're comfortable. No, it's I don't wear joggers. All I wear. What do you wear? <laughs> Just regular stuff, huh? Do you yeah. Think so? Do you wear Sweats pants? and jeans. Well, you don't wears. wear joggers either, huh? I have some on right now. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I wear runners. I wear sprinters. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shorts, okay? Yeah, I don't think I ever wore joggers here. I don't know. I think it's, uh, I'm insecure about that, you know? Why? I'm trying to pull it off like Javi. It's Just like regular pants, I feel, you know? It's because they feel like you can't take your leg out. Like, look at your foot. Like, if there was, there Dude, was an emergency and you had to take your foot out. <laughs> an emergency. Hey, <laughs> what kind of emergency was it? Yeah. <laughs> well, if your pants were on fire, you would want yeah, to get out of your pants as fast as possible. I, I, I feel, feel like, like any other, <laughs> like, jean-wise, I don't feel like I could get my pants out or take them off faster. I feel faster. like jeans are harder, yeah. Yeah, than joggers. joggers Especially like, out like, of the dryer, <laughs> the jeans. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. See, why would you want to wear jeans? Yeah. No, but once you don't, I don't wash them like, like all the time. Jeans. You wouldn't wash them all the time. Nah, I wash them like once every month. You know what? Your jeans? Yeah, that's cool. You put them in the freezer. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> really? Yeah, for what? What do you put in the, the fabric supposedly? 
Yeah. Uh -huh. I just put him outside say, yeah. in Utah right now. Well, especially with well, the, you can with the, sold, the uh, UV race. Hit him with that Larry the Winter Soldier. <laughs> yeah. okay. just when it gets cold him. enough, you really could overnight outside. Yeah. And what is this supposed to do if you put him outside or like in a freezer? Kill the freezer? It kills the bacteria, the bacteria, which is the odor causing. Yeah, so thing. you don't fucking smell like hot ass, you know? You get that fucking wolf, that bark, you know? That duck butter. Oh, man. So Shout out to gross. Pecking Duck. Has that happened to you, Hoss? The what? Like when you your pants are just stink, you know? Yeah, it's happened. Oh. Like you go camping or something and then you want to put. Has that happened to you in a public place? Yeah, like when I was out in New Orleans, I had uh, oh. a few drinks, so I was sweating even more. Hot and humid, walking around. So I had to like go back to the Airbnb and and, sw and shower and switch pants. But did somebody tell you, hey, you got a wolf? No, I just knew. Nobody was going to tell me. I just beelined it you back can, to the like, Airbnb. Feel it yeah. almost. In your butt crack, huh? Like, you can start to feel like the. Like a swamp in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's you, don't, like... you don't feel like that, Alice? Your Not apple gets butt crack, moist, huh? That's but what yeah, it I can hits. feel like yeah. pants. Does that happen to you? Your ass will get moist, Alice? Asshole? Yeah, like your ass will start to get moist and like yeah, it's drenchy. It's like a swamp down there and it's yeah. like, it's just like too like. Yeah, like it's more than your comfort level, and you're like, oh, all right. There's like it feels like your butt cheeks are like lubed up almost. You know, like they're like. And it's but it's uncomfortable. Like they're doing the bird man. You know, it's like, dude, put some respect on my. Yeah, they're doing that. Just like, dude, I don't like how it feels. You know. Yeah, I mean, once it, or like it happened twice, but both times I got in the shower because that was just disgusting. Not having it. Yeah, because for me, sometimes if it happens, like I'll go dry my ass or something real quick. You know what yeah, I mean? With the hand blowers? Huh? With the hand it blowers? Just has ass out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I get a little toilet paper, you know? Yeah. Just make sure spider's not there, you know? What I freaking <laughs> pat it down and you're good to go. Yeah. But what else? What other stuff do we have? We had the uh, the things that you told me to wear, Javi, with the shirt for the Quakers. Knickerbockers. Oh, yeah. Knickerbockers. yeah. <laughs> but those got canceled. Come on, BLM, you know? Got canceled decades ago. So <laughs> now they just call them Knicks. They might have been the original jogger. Jogger. You don't think they so? They were, yeah. They probably were. Because yeah. they had a jog to battle. What else did they have to do? Jog to first, second, third, and home base. They play baseball in the Knickerbockers? Yeah, they literally did. Damn, dude. Which is funny that a basketball team's called the Knicks when they, they don't wear that in basketball. Oh, they wear it in baseball. Yeah, over there? Come on, the Knicks. appropriators, you know? Yeah. Well, that's what New York is all about. You know what yeah, I mean? They that's why we live in the greatest fucking state in the world, okay? USA. America. America, okay. <laughs> the state of America. Patriot season all day. But girls, that's the one thing that's like. Now, here's the one thing that I that don't like about leggings sometimes. It's like some girls, they look super hot. You know what I mean? Like they got the big booty, they go working. But then you go to fucking Macy's or you go to Smith's and you see, come on, dude. It's like Gabe trying to put that, that oh one on the top of from the bottom. You know what I mean? <laughs> they got those little tiny legs and then the top is like. Fucking you got an albondiga with the fucking oh my with gosh. two fucking two sticks, you know, <laughs> and you can see like the legs look like they're fucking melting, you know. He's like, oh, hey. like the Kim Kardashian, where it's like the legs don't match the the butt, the, the beat. top. Yeah, that's you know, that's uh, that's awful. And you see that, uh, and they always got like the yellow and green hair and shit. You know, like what am I watching? I know, you know? exactly what you're talking <laughs> like, about. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Now? It's like, bitch, I'm gonna give you my sweats. You know, what it's I mean? like super super flat, and then all of a sudden you get to the top, and it's just like. Yeah, it starts to do like the, you know, SpongeBob, like the little things that he has, like that. His skin, you know, it starts to do that shit. Oh, that's so gross, man. And those are the ones that are always like the most confident, you know? Like they, they get out of the car, like, let me get my cilantro. They try to stick their butt up. I'm like, dude, do you even know what's going on? I'm not trying to fucking see you, you know? But that's it. Nothing else. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> All right. Nobody's abused today, okay? <laughs> so anything else about joggers? Yeah. What can you say about joggers? Maybe you see a hot chick, you know? Uh, or the complete opposite. Do you have some? Flat. Like, why would you wear joggers if you're like... Yeah, like you're fucking flat in the back. Yeah, why would you do that? Flat... <laughs> fucking why would flat you do that? Backs, yeah, you, know? you, don't know, you don't know where the bass starts, you know? Right? Or where the back ends. You you don't got like some special ones for Magnolia? Like, it's like, hey, babe, I want you to wear your... Actually, she re not recently. She's gotten like maybe two months ago. But the joggers that she's now wearing, they're freaking super soft, and like it low key makes me want to take them and wear them, like take them off of her and wear them for myself because they feel so soft against the skin. That I mean, that's just me. I mean, you can take them when she's not wearing them. True, but then I would feel weird. She comes over <laughs> next week, you know, with all Magnolia swag. 
That would be pretty cool. You know what? I'm just gonna take her. I'm just gonna take her joggers and fucking wear them. Huh? You should. Her leggings. And I think in. that's a safe gift for a chick. You don't think so? Well, of course. You leggings. Give a chick yeah. Some, they wouldn't take it as an offense. Like, hey, here's some joggers. I wouldn't think they'd take some it as leggings. An no? They love no. them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised she hasn't taken my joggers. She loves wearing joggers too. I ever seen? Do you guys ever seen one where it starts to rip out the crotch, a legging? Yes. Oh, those are so sexy. You never seen one of us? I have. Like a That's chick, she'll sexy? show you a little bit of her legging, you know, she sees that hole. It's starting to tear. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, sure I've yeah. never seen that ever. you never seen Wait, that, the distressed right ones, Javi? No. No? No, I'm only worried at work because I always have to fucking get the scrubs that are ripped right there. Oh, okay. Well, that's what happens. It starts to rub on the toe too much, and then next thing you know... It's just because I got thick thighs. That's all it is. That coochie's mucho waiting to happen. You know? uh, it's called Things the vintage jogger, you know? The vintage they're jogger? They're distressed. They're know? from the 70s. A little <laughs> torn. <you know? laughs> just like their fucking lives, okay? <laughs> so why do you take it to the next fucking holiday? They're Ellen? falling apart, everyone. Come on. <laughs> their whole life. And that's why men don't fucking wear those, okay? <laughs> we're not fucking falling apart. We're fucking patriots, okay? Fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> the next national holiday is National Chocolate Cupcake Day. <laughs> Cupcake? Cupcake. Cupcake for cops. There's a donut, Alice. <laughs> Dude, that's called a murder, Alice. <laughs> National cupcake? That's a fucking murder, okay? Come on, guys. They beat the case like they beat that battery. You know? <laughs> battery charges, guys. Yeah. Come on. It's very chauvinist of you to say, huh? Come no, on. No, I'm talking man. about iPhone batteries. You got to oh. recharge them. You know? But that's yeah, true. Come on. But that would have been cool. A cupcake? You don't think so? No. You would have wanted to, like, you get a little cop cake, like a Paw Patrol, like one of those little cakes. Oh, I got one of those once. Yeah. I mean, not for me, but I gave it to <laughs> when someone's you're a child kid. that loved the Paw Patrol. Like that? What else was cool? You get, like, a Paw Patrol. You get uh, firefighters. So who was your guys' like, favorite growing up? Like firefighters, a... doctors, or cops? You mean servicemen? Yeah. And women? And women. And all other forgotten <laughs> service members, <Yeah. laughs> or maybe a fucking army. Which one was like your go-to? You got fucking ecstatic, you know? Dude, I actually like the military just because they had like bazookas <laughs> and shit. Oh, the like, grenades, the, the little you know, the the figures, and yeah. you just have them like war with each other, just like what uh, Russia and Ukraine are going through. Yeah. yeah. Except They're still going through a life. war? Yeah, they still are. It's a oh, forever war, Alice. Fuck? People stopped posting the flags. If they had kept posting the Ukraine they flag, it would have been ended. It, you know? But you fucking... Oh, you want to so, post your selfies and your fucking leggings, okay? Yeah. Keep posting them leggings. You know? Fuck the Ukraine. So okay? All you guys that thought you were helping, you've stopped helping. Yep. Same thing that happened with the black squares, right? Yep. What now, what's squares? what are black people doing now? They're looking to my Theo Biden. Okay? El Bori. Shout out to El Presi. Okay? My Presi. <laughs> but we were talking about you got your uh so you never did a party like that oh a couple gi joe so you got a yeah so what i'd would set you... them up in like uh basically strategically putting infantry you know the grunts you have heavy artillery at the back you had the the tanks and shit <laughs> you know some so you could bomb them and shit it was so nice but what would you use for bombs because like obviously they couldn't shoot or anything well, ever... hacky sacks back then were a big thing so i just toss them oh, really? yeah and would you play with your brother or just against yourself just i would say i like setting it up like my own battle scene <laughs> yeah, like yeah. The, one of them was like tipped over dead yep. and you got the yep. medics yep oh that's pretty cool what about you javi nothing i mean I can't remember, but you never was like, that. "Oh, mama, I want to be a cop," you know? Un policia, how they said it in Spanish? Policia, policia, you know? <laughs> Un poli. <laughs> you know? No, Shout I don't out think to, I want uh, to be a poli. They give him a polio shot, fucking hobby. That's why he can't walk. <laughs> it's like, get un poli, Boom, I, I you got know? the shot just in Boom. time. <laughs> 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 Shh. No, I didn't say. Say. <laughs> Next thing you know, poor Javi, you know? Look at him now, dude. He has to wear fucking joggers. <laughs> no, but I think I would probably be like a firefighter or something back then. Like, I think that's what I wanted to be. Just because the station was right across the fucking... Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah. Hey, but also the cops were right there, too. Yeah, but then that wasn't really... That was like a sub office or whatever. The West Valley cops? Yeah, yeah you're right, huh? A West couple Valley fucking cops. Polynesians, you know? <laughs> I, oh, I, I couldn't make it as an NFL player. Duh. No shit, dude. Then they go try to be cops, you know? <laughs> Next thing you know, drugs are going missing, you know? <laughs> Come on, fucking pull off the sofas, you know? <laughs> but what about you, Alice? You never thought that, you know, the fire... I think, Alice, you would think firefighters were attractive. You don't think so? 
Like, you never thought it's like maybe the only guys you were attracted to were firefighters at first? <laughs> Fuck no. Like, they come in red, you know, or maybe they come, you know? No, that was not the case. They got the fucking hoe. So she, like, she liked the armed services. Yeah? A couple G.I. Janes. You like that more too, the military? No, actually, when I grow, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a doctor, so I always just play doctor. Hey, doctor. That's doctor. why she got all the bitches. Not me. <laughs> she was. A, she was a veterinarian. O B G Y N. Por qué no los dos? She's an O B G Y N vet. Yes. Family practice. Okay. <laughs> Looking at that animal coochie. Yeah. Dogs are part of the family. Okay. A couple camel toes. <laughs> Moose knuckles, you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, dude, huh? That's those are not... the ones that are ripping the fucking <laughs> leggings, you know? Well, those are men, okay? <laughs> She's not into that. <laughs> now listen to you guys. Spit, bros. <laughs> <sighs> I think I... Dude, I don't know. Maybe I think I wanted to be a cop, dude. I don't know. We have this guy, dude. His name uh, his name was on Don Lupe. Shout out to Don Lupe. And Don, Lu Don Lupe, he was like one of the... In Mexico, he was one of the first Mexicans that had like the... He was like 78, but he had the brain capacity of like a seven-year-old. Okay. So he couldn't think that good, you know? Yeah, I was about but to he say, was old, but he would dress it. like a senior citizen. And then he would tell you like, oh, I went to the... Uh, like stuff that happened in the news, you know? He's like... <laughs> he's like all the stuff. He's like, I just got back from the World Cup and... We played Brazil. I was like, bro, you can't even walk, you know? He's out in his cane, but fucking don't loop it. What he would do is like, sometimes he would think he was in the uh, uh, armed forces. You know, he would think he was a cop. Well, he he was... <laughs> he was armed if he's a cop. <laughs> you know? So he's halfway there. <laughs> but what Don Lupe would do, he would, uh, he would know how to catch birds, you know? So he had his own aviary. He would bait birds and then put them in cages. But then he had to clean the cage. He had so many fucking birds... He had to put him in the front of his house. So just like in the front of the street. So all the houses, you know, they're next to each other in Mexico. So you got a bunch of bird cages. And the Lupa, dude, he thought he was in the, like, a uh, lieutenant for the cops. He would take out all these little cop toys and little cop cars. And he'd put them in front of the fucking bird cages. So people wouldn't fucking steal them. Did it work? <laughs> people wouldn't take it, dude. Because they thought cool. he was crazy. They're like, what the fuck is on Lupa doing, you know? But yeah, he never had a bird missing, nothing like that. Damn. But he always wanted to be a cop, you know? So that's why I think I wanted to be a cop, because I, I would see the little cop cars. So was he or was he not a cop? Don Lupe? In his <laughs> imagination, dude. Oh. He had the brain of a seven-year-old, host. You could see anything. Was a cop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was my first inspiration. Gotcha. Was on Lupe, you know? But yeah, he had this cool cop car that, and uh, it's like the windows like it was like you know regular window so and then like you press the button and the cops would like the window would fall out and there would be like a cop going like this dude <laughs> dude i want that toy that's you pretty know? cool so like you press the button and like and then there would be a cop like that and the little lights would turn on oh, always legit. Be a cop you know but they don't got cops in mexico so well well they got rich guys that collect cop toys you know so i could <laughs> dude, he wasn't rich man Hey, with that toy, dude, I've never seen that toy in a fucking America. Right? <laughs> he probably stole it, dude. Don't or he made it, dude. He could make he everything. He could have made it. You know? But what else for, uh, what uh, day was it again, Alice? <laughs> National Chocolate Cupcake Day. <laughs> <laughs> National Cupcake, but somebody that's been baking. You Just know? a little bit. <laughs> Who's baking? Well, oh, Javi, what do you Javi's mean? Javi's baking, you know? that's He's baking right. a little, uh... Well, that's his thing to reveal if he wants to, but... A little He dulce. does have a baby on the way. That's... That much has yeah, been we've, yeah, disclosed. Yeah, we've, we've disclosed that already. Yeah. Uh, maybe we have them tune in to the... The future. The new project we're working oh, on. Oh, a new okay. project, there huh? A new project. Maybe we'll bake a chocolate cake for that one. You on think the we'll streets. Have? Yeah, we can bake yeah, a nice we chocolate can. cake for that. We got a couple things down the pipeline, you know? Yep. Bombs. But... Many bombs. <laughs> a couple of bad bombs. You know? <laughs> Oh, you man. know, but National uh, Chocolate, they, for Glocko and Karina, Karina definitely had some chocolate cake, yeah, you know? Yeah, by coercion, by her I own saw, sister. you know, merch yeah. right into her face. First, <laughs> Murder I was, was my name. I was mad at Alice first, because I was like, you know how they do the Mexican thing where they smash him? Do they do that in Ponce, Puerto Rico, Porque Las Bombas? They do. Yeah? Because I thought, they they didn't do that at first. You know, he's like, oh, make a wish. I'm like, these fucking Mexican-Americans, you know? What, do you have cancer? Who? <laughs> oh. I'm just <laughs> Fucking he didn't get it. it went, Come on, man! <laughs> Fucking what? John Cena's gonna show up here in a second, you know? But yeah, then I saw, you know, well, she ate. Now you ruined the story. She ate the cake. So shout out to Karina. She got her chocolate cake. What cake? The chocolate cake, everybody. That's right. Okay. 
Never forget. Always, Always remember. remember. Okay, but what else do we got, Alice? Same can't be said for Guadalupe Ruiz. <laughs> Don Lupe. <laughs> Lupe, he okay. can't remember. How did he know his fucking last he name, dude? Because I got power. What the fuck do you think this is? The fuck do you think this is? He went through his like database Don and Lupe, his brain. He's like, oh, uh, Don Guadalupe Ruiz, you know? Come on, shout out to Don Lupe, man. I'm going to get a fucking picture when I go to Mexico. Bring it to you. You if can he's see still the, alive. The cops. <laughs> he was, what, he was 78 when you were, when you were seven? seven? Yeah, but he was seven years mentally, dude, you know? Yeah. His brain. I mean, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's not gonna die. Come on, <laughs> that's not how it you works, know? everybody. You want children to die? Come on, I'll give you a piece of shit. You know? hey, hey, he's pro choice. <laughs> <laughs> but what else have we got, Alice? Late term uh, choice. He chooses life. <laughs> Don Lupe well, at that life. point, it's early stage. Hey, be nice to Don Lupe, guys. Come on. Not Don Lupe, no, the no. children. Okay. Duh. Come on. Anyways, the next holiday is National No Beard Day. That's bullshit I can't agree with, okay? <laughs> no beard? No yeah. beard. But now if you don't have a beard, you know, you're Alice, basically. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Your beauty is what he's trying to say. <laughs> Anyone with a beard, we're trying to hide our ugliness. <laughs> That's all it is. A you know? couple fucking Dude. Apaches out there, you know what I mean? Can't even connect the, the fucking beard, you know? <laughs> Acting all fucking tough and shit. You know, Glockle, do you have a fucking beard? Have you seen him try to grow a fucking beard? I've seen him try. <laughs> <laughs> Did he try? Does he He's have turning red. He's like... Looks like a killer tomato. <laughs> yeah, Does like, he have a like, beard? On, like he was on vegetables. Yeah, go tea. Yeah, Glockle looks like a fucking hairy toe. You know what I mean? It's fucking hard. Just a couple fucking hairs here and there, you know? You can't grow a fucking beard, you know? Who Not else that. is trying to grow a beard? My husband will wonder. I thought he did have a beard. He looks like a fucking fingerprint, okay? <laughs> half, half fingerprint. Does he have a beard? He's got a little, the little one, you know what I mean? Yeah. The one that we had when we were in junior high. <laughs> that little one that just goes on your chin. Oh, I've Santos had a full is beard trying since too. High school, so. Santos is trying. <laughs> oh, is Santos trying. is fucking beard, you know? Yeah. He, you want to, you know, oh, la, por la cultura, you know? That's He's what you got can't a chin cup right here, you know? Just... Yeah. He's a little a... thimble of a beard. Who else is missing a beard, you know? I think we don't oh. know too many people that don't have beards, huh? LLA has a patchy beard. Oh, yeah, you know? LLA. I mean, a and, a, and a patchy hair, you yeah. know? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's Indian, okay? Well, he's that's that Zulu hair. <laughs> <laughs> he's mine, <laughs> guys. Come soldier, on. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that apocalypto. Oh, the number one queef, you know? The number one chief? His oh, beard, you yeah. know? For a black guy, come on, Dre. I don't think he can even say that he's black. He's anymore. got a little arrowhead, you know. You know, <laughs> he can't. He, he looks like a fucking bottled water. You know, <laughs> that the sun. <laughs> so saying he's got the dream. <laughs> got that aqua feel. <laughs> no, he's got a little bit of that gay terrain, you know. <laughs> <laughs> black power. <laughs> you know, come on, man. I don't, I don't think he can. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I, I, he, I know he has the goatee, but I don't think he can do the full beard either. Because like, if you you're black, you gotta have beard? a full beard. What, what kind black... of shit is this beard? <laughs> well, who, which black people don't have beards? Paul Let... Pierce. Who no, is he Paul has a beard. Pierce? He just shaves it's it. It's patchy as hell. But hey, it's still better than Dre's. Well, he shits his pants. So <laughs> okay. last time I checked, Dre hasn't shit his Paul pants. Paul Pierce, and he got stabbed. Paul Pierce, he got stabbed. That's why, you know. Mm. So okay, maybe Good Paul point. Pierce. Good point. Who else do we got? That maybe he didn't. West Jesse Brooks? Smollett. Does Westbrook have beard? I think he shaves. Does yeah, he? I think I think he shaves. Yeah. Smollett, he doesn't have a beard? I thought he did. He doesn't have a career. Hey, <laughs> you, maybe can you look on the internet? Shots black fired. people without a beard? Yeah, I could do that. Let's see what pops up. Who do we got? Famous. Because 50 saying he has a beard, you know? He's got a beard. Uh, who else is famous that's black? Oh, Lil Wayne can't grow a beard. I thought he did have. Oh, maybe Lil Wayne. I don't think huh? I've ever seen him with a beard. Yeah, maybe he just has like a little bit of I don't hair. think I've seen Dr. Dre with a beard either. Maybe even Birdman, he doesn't have a beard. No. Or Manny Fresh. Uh-uh. Or fucking Juvenile, dude. All of Anybody Cash Money, they don't got beard. Anybody dude? from New Orleans. <laughs> you know? That's why they don't fuck with Drake anymore, because Drake has a full-ass beard. Oh, yeah, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah. So none of them got beard. That means they're a she pure a broad line, beard, yeah. you know? Oh, Minaj is a beard, you know? That Down fucking bearded dragon, you know? <laughs> well, dude, so we got we a couple have... black people without beards. Oh, no, we do. I'm L. L. Jackson. He doesn't have a beard. Dude, Nas has never been able to grow a full beard. Why is this thing? Or Jay Z. Complicated. JC? Oh, I don't J ever, he's he never had a full, full beard. beard huh? Uh uh. Damn, bro. 
Don't John so. Legend. There was a point where he didn't have a beard. Oh, he, he just had a gold tee, though. But he can yeah. grow one, though. Yeah, he can yeah. grow one. LL Cool J. I don't think oh, I've ever seen that one. LL Cool J? All, yeah. Damn, bro. He's hairless. He's got alopecia all over his yeah, body. Yeah, he's like that sphinx <laughs> cat. <laughs> Denzel Washington. He doesn't Denzel have a beard. Has a beard. Yeah, yeah, he has a beard. I, I don't think I've seen him with one. Uh, doesn't he have one in training day? Oh, does he? He's got Pretty a gold sure. tee. I don't know about a beard, though. Jada Pinkett Smith? She doesn't <laughs> she have a beard. Can't, she can't grow one. No. She, she can't, can't grow, grow anything. <laughs> you know? Maybe that camel beard. Uh, Jamie oh. Foxx hasn't had a beard. Or has, well, he, he has, has a beard. Because on he, Django, he had one. Yeah, he's got beard. What about Obama? Obama was, can grow a beard. Pol politics, like, or politicians always have to, like, shave, but I'm pretty sure he can grow I think grow Michelle one. can grow. <laughs> Michelle? <laughs> El Mikey? <laughs> Michelle um, Eddie Murphy? You don't know? You don't think Michelle can grow Michelle? I think she can grow one, yeah. Did you say Eddie Murphy? Yeah, I don't think I've seen him Eddie with a beard. Eddie Murphy has a beard. beard yeah. I was just probably Googled black guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I put black people what with no beard. What about Dave Chappelle? Does he? Does he yeah, Dave beard? Chappelle has a beard. Chappelle does, I oh, think. Okay. No, well. Actually, maybe I don't think not. I've ever seen him with one. Yeah, he has like that little mustache. You know yeah, what maybe mean? he grows the, the chops and that's yeah. about it, right? I don't that's feel enough like about beards, though. I mean, come on. Damn, bro. You either have one or you don't. It sucks if you don't. No, but I thought the black community was strong with beards, but apparently... I think maybe Latinos got more beard than anybody. That's hard to say because a lot of like the Central and South Americans. A lot oh, of them can't count. grow Come beards. On, we're count those. They're not even real fucking <laughs> countries. You know what I mean? Down there. Yeah, those it's... fucking sovereign nations you think so? Come on. I know half of my cousins can't grow beard because it comes in spotchy. Yeah, because it's too. Ho it's probably too hot down there, bro. They're uh, indigenous. You, you fucking... They don't got AC in those fucking shitty ass countries. They that's do not about have AC. You think they're you know? They're waiting for the Lord to save them so they can well, get out of that place. That's why they pray so much. That's why America's so great. We have AC in every room. That's, that's why our true. beards grow here because they're Except so cold in our fucking houses. Yeah. Except, yeah. For, yeah. Except, yeah. For <laughs> Except for this house. Every other house in America <laughs> has an AC. <laughs> hey, we got two ACs in this fucking bitch, okay? We want to book a crank on the fucking house. We you haven't know, noticed. We all want to be. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys all want to be Winter Soldier, okay? <laughs> Larry, does he have a beard? The Winter Soldier? I've never met him. He doesn't show up. Did he? You said he tried to. He tried. A... He tried to grow one, and then he looked kind of spotchy. He looked like a a, a porn star a predator. Sense. Yeah, yeah. But I was. Have you ever gotten a hair yet? Like a random hair? You know how girls can get like a little. Um, I used to have one like maybe like four years ago, and once I pulled it out, it never it grew never back. grew again. It never grew back. Damn, because I had one like that. Well, I had one on my shoulder. It was like a white hair. And I, I had one on growing. my shoulder, too. Damn. And that one, every time I would pull it out, it would grow longer and longer. And then one time, it just never Dude, grew Dude, I back. had... Mine was, like, super long. Like, a long yeah, white hair. Like, it was I weird. could curl it. Yeah. It was longer, obviously, than my other long arm hairs. But, yeah, it never grew back. And but I you, randomly look for it, but... Did you get one on your face or anything like that? Never? Once. Four years ago. And then I pulled it out, and it never came back. What, so was, what did you feel like when you saw it come out? Like, I was like, holy fuck, I'm growing a beard. <laughs> and it was only just one fucking hair, but still, I was like... You, did you fuck? panic? Like, you didn't Google, it's like, am I going to keep growing hair or anything like that? After I pulled it, I was like, holy shit, maybe I shouldn't have pulled it. But <laughs> it didn't come back, so I'm okay. Damn, that would be so scary. Because do you guys remember when we first started getting facial hair? I remember. What was it for you, Hoss? I was born with it. It was, like, basically the chin strap. And then I had the mustache, but it wouldn't connect. So I was always upset that it would never connect, and now it connects, so I'm yeah. happy about it. Yeah. So first it was just like... Yeah, so from when I was like 16, I started getting like pretty much almost this entire thing. I would never I never let it grow out this far. I would actually always shave. Um, and then when I was about 18 is when it like I started like having a bigger chin strap and then slight mustache, but I'd shave the mustache because it wouldn't connect. And then when I was about 21, it started connecting. So I just... But it's, did you shave it because you wanted to grow more and that was a myth? No, I would just shave it just because it was like incomplete and I didn't want that. Because I always hated my mustache, so I would always shave it off. And now I feel like my mustache just grows like a savage, you know? Yeah. But I started the same. It was just like right here. And then I think my mustache grew in pretty heavy, but I would always shave it. Yeah, but I have a thin mustache like for my hair. So I kind of wish it were like thicker sometimes, but I don't really care. Let's see, move the mic real quick. He's it's got like, a pretty nice muscle. It's like thin, though. It connects. No, I like it like that because I try to shape mine like that thinner, but then it's like harder because then you like fuck it up a little bit and you're yeah. like, it's done. You got like a perfect one in my eyes. You Thank know? you. But Hobby, he's fucking lying. He didn't always have a beard, dude. 
that little fucking face was <laughs> look you know his fucking chin his cheek oh, fucking you know <laughs> look like theodore from alvin the fucking chipmunks and he's saying he's gonna he hey, had a fucking hey, beard I had the fucking orlando broom bloom <laughs> hey if because we, we might even have a yearbook somewhere over there alice i mean we oh might... okay where where am i looking for this no, yearbook? No, no, no. i think my mom sent me a pic oh yeah of this little bitch ass face you'll see oh, that <laughs> jawline though yeah that jawline bro fucking... see look at him there oh turn, turn it a little cute. More okay hold okay. on bring it back to the camera see <laughs> oh <laughs> no so beard. is that when you were playing christ <laughs> no no when i played christ it was like in high school this is like elementary that was AB ninety seven. Me having facial hair in elementary, huh? I thought you were saying showing us like when you started getting facial hair. No. Oh no, this is the baby face. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, he looks like a pony, huh? Right there. He, he looks does. Confused. Hold on, keep it. Keep <laughs> that it AB ninety seven. That's why, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the father's holding him in the background. <laughs> I even have the the fucking line in the hair back then. Smile for Jesus is mm -hmm. what they told him, you know. Yeah. But, but yeah, damn, dude. But what can you remember about your? I remember I had the. The Pirates of the Caribbean one. The, is oh, that okay. Orlando Bloom? Yeah, that's like Johnny. That. Yeah. Oh, Orlando. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just right here, huh? Just right here and here. That's so. the V for Vendetta, but I guess the goatee's not long enough. But it's also like Antonio Banderas, because if you see him in Zorro, he has that in this. Yeah, um, he's not like the that. thing. He looks like the low rider logo. I'm trying to yeah. figure out who Zorro was. You know? <laughs> I'm more focused on that. I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's how it started. And then I don't think I've ever really shaved. I was like, oh, that's fucking cool, you know? Yeah. And then. The beard like came like 15 or 16 and i can't remember when the fuck did i really play christ bro because <laughs> that's when i let it you grow. said 14. something like that i can't remember it was in high school though yeah you always said when you were 14. but you're not in high school you're in middle school at that point i can't remember yeah but, but you had a beard when you did played cristo yeah i did okay it wasn't, I mean, like, but this, it wasn't that full it wasn't that, but this, it was of full, course you know? yeah, yeah yeah but it was like pretty full for the time you know yeah Everybody was fucking jealous. Especially, I think maybe Mexicans are the ones that don't have beards that much, huh? Yeah, they always get the mustache first, though. Yeah, well, that's I, feel, I feel like nowadays, like Mexicans always get the Mexican facial hair first, it. even if it's just the mustache. Yeah, I always remember all of like the Mexican kids in my school always started getting facial hair first. Oh yeah, and that's because why? We're fucking hairy as fuck. No, you guys have Toxic babies at a very young age. <laughs> yeah. Babies at a young age. So you have we... to look like a father. <laughs> At we 15, start, yeah. when, you know, we you start looking start like 15, parents. Try 13. Are you kidding me? I People are like, oh, you peaked later. in high school. We peaked in fucking junior high, you yeah. know, <laughs> for fucking species. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, because I remember I got my mustache and I was like 15 and my mom took me to the fucking casino, you know? Oh, shit. He's like, oh, come to the casino. He's like, bro, I'm fucking 15. No, she's like, you're driving. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody to drive. Yeah. But that's true. We were driving like at 12 or something back then. True. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? true Dang, back when america was great you know back when it was true great. freedom yep. true freedom now we're no fucking phone slaves. tracking no oh, yeah. you know device listening no because dude before you you felt like you could get away with so much you know you, you could. could you still like can. the cameras were shitty Ish. like dude it was like crazy if somebody even still... had a camera <laughs> you know yeah like if somebody had an actual camera like at a store like oh this place is a camera yeah like you would even go there and wave and start doing like dances you know you would go to the store just to be on camera <laughs> you know in fact you would have you'd have to memorize or remember like an event you know how people will take out their cameras and start like recording through the phone but now some people don't even remember what they record they just have it in their phone they couldn't tell you or paint a picture of the memory that they had yeah. Whereas when we were growing up, like if we experienced something, we'd want to tell someone about it later. So we'd have to be able to tell a story. You try to have to get all the details, you know? Yeah, you had to like paint a picture for them yeah. with words. You think that should be the great reset? We just all throw away our phones and start over again? Good luck, but I mean, I think that would help a lot. Or you can start by getting an Android, you know what I mean? Because Javi, we talk about something here, and then after we're done talking, what happens, us? Yeah, it pops up on his phone. You know? We talk about pocket pussies. We talking about what else are we talking about? Leggings. I bet you, you know, think this is gonna be so mad, head. you know? It's like, why is there a bunch of? Why are you looking at? Phone? What are you looking at? Uh, leggings, sexy for? midgets. Oh yeah, exactly, dude. I told Hobby about dwarfs. Okay, guys. Yeah, that I was told, a test. I was telling Hobby about dwarfs. You know, because freaking uh, that guy from Harry Potter died. R.I.P. to that guy. Yep, the and opposite, Hagrid. Dumbledore. Yeah, Hagrid. And then next thing you know, Hobby, all he's looking at is what well, us. Dwarfs. You know. Bridget the midget, you know, shout follow her only fans. She's pretty fucking hot, you know. She is pretty attractive. Yeah, but she <laughs> Javi's like, dude, it's the middle of the night. What time did he send you the fucking picture? At 2 30. Uh, like, in bro. the morning. He does like that. I said, like, bro, I was trying to fall asleep. Now I have some things to take care of. Yeah. 
to, you know? He had to wrestle another digit, you know? Another demon, you know? <laughs> another midget we were working with. <laughs> <laughs> a little mini-me, you know? A stumpy shouty. <laughs> you know, how he wasn't talking to a, about El Pony, you know? <laughs> he had another mini The birds and the bees. <laughs> But yeah, but did we ever talk Colts? Because I never asked you, do you have hair anywhere else in your body or you're pretty plain? I'm a pretty hairy guy. Yeah? Yeah, although on my legs, I think you've seen it, but like when I wear shorts, like my calves and like the front of my shin, and it's because I always wore high tops, I feel. Like the high tops would, uh, and I tie my shoes up at the top, so like they were cinched. Oh, so it... So uh... like it would just like friction and now like hair won't grow there. But even on the back of my calves, and I think that's because of the jeans... And like the joggers I wore, because I rarely wore shorts when I was a kid. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. Anyways, so like below my knee, I'm starting to like lose hair or not grow as much. Oh, but I'm fairly crazy. hairy. Like I have hairy arms and shoulders and chest. What about your chest? Is pretty hairy too? Can I it's see like a little bit or no? Hairy. Not now. <laughs> not now. No. You can pull the... it down a little bit. A no. little bit, please. Just no. a little bit, host. Nope. Take the camera off of him, Alice. Okay, it's off. Nope. Let me see. Put it no. on me. Okay. I want all the attention. No. <laughs> Come on, show. Come on, a little bit. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Come on, dude. Fucking Furby over here, you know. That was for my OnlyFans page. Okay? <laughs> I've been losing exclusive. Sub- I've been losing subscribers. Okay, as a plus size male model, a lot of these people talk about body positivity, but you're not changing pieces of my shit. bank account to look positive. Right? Yeah, come Asshole. on. It's in the negative still, you know. Thank you. Couple bounce He's checks, a couple NSFs on OnlyFans. Come you know? on, I've right. got debts to pay. How do you think we get money for this production? Duh. Hey, we're in the fuck a. Our credit cards are almost maxed out, guys. Okay. I know mine is. We had to keep applying for more and more credit. You know. If my if my checks bounce, my chest won't be bouncing. Okay. <laughs> this is where you call in your Theo Biden for some help. Yeah, a little stimmy. He's yeah. busy funding oh, my the... primo with his fucking drug addict. You yeah, know? come on, fucking Hunter. Hunter you know what I mean? But I was gonna ask you guys like, you know, well, you have a hairy chest too, a little bit, right, Javi? Yeah, not as much as yours, but yes. <laughs> but isn't it nice, like when a girl is rubbing on your hairy chest, you feel a little bit, you know? I like it. She's like rubbing on your fur a little bit. Mm-hmm. You like it when they pull your chest hair? Not oh, pull. No, they just like you know run, their, run fingers, their fingers, through like it. scratch with your little nails. But isn't that kind of pulling in a sense? Like if they're pull, they're rubbing no, or running their hair through. Well, I view pulling so. as like actually yeah, like, like just trying to tugging. That's that's weird. But you just like it in a sense, massaging. They yeah. like pet it, like almost if you were like a little cat or something, you know, mm-hmm. or a little like the dogs that they are, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the what fucking gatas, you know. <laughs> I will not confirm or deny that. You know, but that's so nice. Isn't that pretty relaxing? Uh, it's oh, never happened mean. to me. That's never happened to you. <laughs> I'm telling you. My life. Oh, oh my God, Come on, dude. It's How really... did you even get sick since you're pregnant? You're gonna have dude? to ask her, bro. You know? I don't know. She's over there. She's she used a Doppler radar. Yeah, you know. Come I think you're on. thinking of a baster. <laughs> oh, come on. She baked her that turkey host or what? Well, yeah, he basted her turkey. <laughs> That's ever happened to you, homie? <laughs> That's even Never. happen to Alice, dude. Come on. I mean, I don't have chest hair, but my hair gets played with. See? That's oh my gosh. Which when one? my hair gets played with, my head, my head hair. Yeah. When my head hair gets played with, that I fucking head game. oh my gosh, I lose. She loves my getting mind. her hair. Oh, and right now, Alex, can you show your hair a little bit? Yeah, she came yeah. in like a fucking braid of beauty. You know what I mean? It is nice when people like run your yeah, people dude. you want to like run the fingers through your head. It's like relaxing, dude. I can see why cats purr. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I'm sitting there fucking purring it up too. You know. Purr. But let's see, oh, Alex, like, did you see? Her? Oh, I already showed them. She showed it yeah? already. I showed yeah. them. She looks so nice. You know what I mean? Thank she does you. Look nice. You looked a little bit like a little Baghdad, uh, Baghdad baddie a little bit. You don't Baghdad think so? Baghdad baddie. Yeah, you know? that's true. I'm a baddie. Don't forget, Without guys. Without a daddy. With more with one. Whatever. Well, I have three daddies. You guys. Three daddies? <laughs> yep. Couple saddies, you know? Come on. I'm huh? not sad. I'm happy. <laughs> I don't he need to take it. I meant to say that. <laughs> 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 But you know, alert. One thing that maybe we, we, we got to make a list because probably he can be fucking almost 40. And not experience some of Javi's these. Fuck- not even close to forty. He's only thirty-one. <laughs> <I'm pretty> fucking- <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible at math. He's like Don Lupe but reversed. You know. 
Maybe he is like Don Lupe. <laughs> e pur. <laughs> Reverse. You know, so maybe what are some things that we gotta have hobby experience? You know what I mean? Because we, he has to eat a butthole already, right? We already decided on that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Give it a lick of tongue. Right. Hey, come on. We, he can't. I like to say not A, but a specific one. A specific one. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. specific Okay. So every, anything we say is for this individual. You guys don't know who she is. So we have to do that. Pet his chest hair. Yeah. Would you don't tell me you would like that, Javi? I'm sure be you guys nice, are watching a like, couple. Like, what are they watching, Hoss? <laughs> Oddballs. Uh, I've been watching Oddballs on Netflix. What is that? Oddballs. It's a cartoon. Yeah. It's like maybe a little solo <laughs> gigante or. Yeah. That's why she's not putting you. You're watching that. You think she's gonna fucking come on, Javi? You know? Have you watched you? You guys you probably should watch you I together. I did watch that, and it's fucking weird. Like, it. Psycho you can watch El Gordo y la Flaca. Well, it just reminds me of how oh. shitty uh, relationships are. Yes, humans are. You know? Oh, that too. That and Jeffrey Dahmer. God damn it, people. But okay, but can you come on? We're trying to focus here. How are you over there talking about white people? No, not white. Not white. So you're people, not gonna watch the show. General. What show is he gonna watch us? El, go El Gordo y la Flaca. Gordo y la Flaca. Is that shit still on? No, you're gonna have to watch reruns. Actually, it YouTube. is still on. It's is still it? on. Yeah, but it's not the same Flaca. There's a different Flaca. Same one? Gordo. Same Gordo, not the same Flaca. Hey, that's the whole. Hey, that's the only upgraded. Curve. He yeah. upgraded. In yeah. a sense, yeah. Of course. Yeah, because I mean, women they age fucking worse than men. Okay, let's just be real. It's <laughs> true, like, no. in a sense, it's true. It's yeah, true. I'll get what the fuck? He lost Sophia weight. Vergara, dude. A little bit. Man, yeah. Sofia Vergara. She's in there. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, I'm just saying. How old is she? Uh, she's probably in her fifties. I'm sure. Yeah. Bro, look probably. Her up. Oh, she doesn't age that bad, actually. She's yeah, I mean, sexy. when you got millions, you or have Shakira. To, yeah. Oh, Shakira. Yeah, you're not ugly. If you have money, you can't be ugly. Oh, and J Lo. Oh my gosh, she's sexy. Come on, man. They are exceptions. They are exceptions? Yeah, yeah they're, they're exceptions. Because they're fucking Latin American, that's why. Well, no, because they have millions, Alice. Oh, that's yeah, good. you seen El Prezi? Biden, dude, come on, dude. Looking like a fucking scarecrow. You think he's gonna fucking, you know? She's, yeah, she's oh. 50 years old. He looks yeah. like a board crow, quite frankly, you know? He's just an... Um... <laughs> Theo, come on, man. Mm. But what do you got to experience? You know, she's gonna rub your chest a little bit. What else I have mean, you not you experienced? Me, bro, I don't know. You know? Has... Dude, I don't even know if I could ask him. Has he ever, you know? I don't know if we can ask him. No? Ask him with your powers. I wouldn't know what the fuck you're talking <laughs> about. Look, he's going to use his powers. Are you talking about anal? Is this what you're talking about? Yep. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're Nay. Yeah, yeah, you're Nay. No. no. Oh, never. No? Really? Okay. You never Jeff, got anal? I've not only by AB97, you know, but I've never inserted my penis into an anal cavity. Damn, really? Bro. Never. Wow, Javi, where have you been? What, what are you doing with yourself, guy? <laughs> Let's start with blowjobs. Has that ever happened? Yeah, my jaw hurts after. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I? You know? Within my thing. <laughs> you know? Take us to the next holiday, Alice. Come on, man. Come on, Hobby. Come on, dude. I was we're gonna gonna, tell you, hey, we're trying to be a hey, fucking it's man. too much work to be gay, you know? bro. I can't. It is. It's we're trying to promote masculinity, and come on, you know? Hobby. He shot all over. Doing it. the fucking Tucker Carlson to go to bed. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Not even that. He's not even touching himself. <laughs> you don't masturbate either, Javi? There's no time. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. What the fuck, Javi? <laughs> there's, no, there's literally no fucking time, oh, bro. Dude, do it at work, man. Do it in the car. <laughs> dude, dude work You know how worse. awkward that would be? Dude, Over there have you guys ever watched The Wolf of fucking Wall Street, okay? No. Get That's a couple buddies. You were, he was there playing freaking flag football without the L. Fucking do that before you fucking huh, catch a pass, huh? Yeah. See? Come on, Javi. <laughs> Can't even jerk. What was the last time you jerked off, us? Can't tell you. See? <laughs> Because he never does it either, so fuck off. He, he does it, huh? He just can't keep track of all the See? times he's done it. He's got a fucking powerful nut, you know? Come on. Well, that's it. That's it. We're not going to talk about Javi anymore. <laughs> We're going to talk about anything. There's not even any more holidays, huh? Not really, no. You know? But what's the next holiday, <laughs> The next holiday is Pro-Life Day of Silent Solitary. <laughs> Pro-Life? Pro-Life. Uh, Pro-Life Day of Silent Solitary. Yep. What does that even mean? I don't fucking know. I think that's when they abort babies in prison. I was thinking of what, AB97 is what it is? That's when they abort mute babies. <laughs> Helen Keller's kids. 
What was it called again, Alice? Pro Life, Pro-life Day of Silent Solidarity. Oh, that's ODC. Orphans don't care. It's pro life. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. They're speaking on behalf of those that are silent embryos that don't have a voice. So who is it? A couple psychics, a couple mystics, or who's speaking for the ODC? Orphans don't care. So orphans are talking for embryos? Yeah, there are a bunch of orphans that are ta- uh, talking on behalf of the embryos. Oh, there's a meaning to it. So I would... Okay, Alice, she no, finally... They don't, they, they don't care about your pro-choice. Oh, they don't okay, care about okay. choice. Alice, she finally read a little bit more. Okay, cool. It says... Orphan lives matter, guys. <laughs> it says what? It says representing the 3,000 voices taken by abortion every day. These students 3, choose... 3,000? 3,000. 3,000 a day? 3,000 a day. These students <laughs> choose to take a vow of silence. The movement suggests wearing a red... Uh... Pause is wearing red! <laughs> <laughs> and it's Tommy. Hey. Hey, I'm and, about to run too. You know, and you know what? Because it's Pura, Pura Vida. Vida. Pura Vida. <laughs> Come on. Man. You guys thought so. we didn't fucking know, you fucking idiots? Ooh. Huh? We told you we're fucking patriots. Oh, you know? Planned parenthood. Hobby, he planned his fucking kid. Shout out to he Kanye. You, you know? know? You guys over there fucking, oh, I want a baby mama because I want to look official. Huh? Go fuck yourself, okay? You and your fucking baby mama, that ratchet ass fucking hoe. Oh okay? my! <laughs> Is there a baby mama in your life that you need to tell us about? Should I tell them us? A secret love child. <laughs> it's up to you if you no. want to tell them. No, come on! I don't got no baby mamas. Come on, no. we're pro-choice, but three thousand abortions a day. You know, three thousand a day. Yeah, 3, you guys were oh the day. movie three hundred. It was so good. Have you heard three thousand? You know what? Though? <laughs> all three thousand were probably raped. So. Oh, you that's a lot of rape going We're around. We're losing lives in Ukraine. <laughs> We're losing lives in Russia. So maybe, maybe somebody that we can ask about all these abortions. You know, we do have a medical expert. We do. You know, to see why maybe there's an increase in abortions in the air. Why everybody's abort three thousand abortions? Okay, we're not talking about one thousand. I was like two thousand, three thousand. That's okay? a lot in a 3, day. Three thousand oh, abortions. Okay, so we got to check. Maybe you know we can go to the doctor's office and see why there's a little bit of overkill in the abortion community. Maybe there's a couple of lead. You know, there's still fluoride in the water. You know, Flint, <laughs> Michigan. You know, people yeah. are defunding the police. So maybe, do you think we can go, Huss? Yeah, we should be able to go. You think you can take us, Alice? Yeah, let's go. I forgot my phone. Can we go back again? I forgot okay. something else, too. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. La Virgen Maria. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The mother of all orphans, okay? And Javi, what, do you, what did you forget? I bought enough flowers that I could afford. I couldn't afford 3,000 flowers. Yep, to put but... in those empty tombs. But enough. The empty wombs. Those empty That's wombs, what I meant. You know? <laughs> shove them up there <laughs> for the deceased. So now, should I recap a little bit? Let's go recap for these What's idiots. going on? Because people, oh, you guys, oh, what are you guys talking about? You guys are dangerous. You guys are pro-lifers, okay? Who cares? What's going on here? 3,000 people lost their soul. You guys are so worried about, oh, my tia Maria and all these fucking things you guys are fucking talking about. Babies are dying, okay? Why do you think there's no more fucking Toys R Us or Kids R Us? Fucking idiots. Everybody's dropping like flies. 3,000 abortions a year, host. People, what's going on with male or females or, you know, pregnant people that's causing all these abortions? This falls under the uh, psychiatric community aspect of an explanation as to why people are deciding to abort so many uh, infants. Okay, they are the embryos, whatever you want to call them, whatever non-life description you're going to use to justify these massacres. <laughs> but it is called crisis resolution, and it is the development of an effective, adaptive, and coping devices to resolve a crisis, or in this case, a perceived crisis. What have a lot of these uh, environmental freaks been telling us for years <laughs> upon years? That Older population. The world can't sustain itself. We're pissing through our resources, utilizing all this land and natural resources and killing Mother Nature. I've got news for you. It's not true. Have you driven anywhere like Texas and see how much land mass there is? 
We're not overpopulating and crowding the earth. You all just decide to live on each other, stacked upon each person. Because where do the most abortions happen? In the big cities. In metropolitan areas. Downtown. Dense, yeah. Downtown so, every city. So subconsciously, they have been fed these lies of overpopulation. And if we have less people, but they don't want to kill themselves, right? Like, if you killed yourself, you'd probably help if you really believed it. So you're going to go kill another human instead of yourself if you want to solve this crisis? No. So they've been programmed through mRNA processes and injections you not humans we can't have any more kiss or we'll be overpopulated and then they just start slicing through them right that's why nissan hataka Bormoto makes so much goddamn money because she understands it she's just there for the business she doesn't really care whether you're pro-life oh, yeah. or not she just wants money and she's in the funding department you know so again basically what has happened is this agenda by whomever you may think is in charge of it is the old biden no it's greta thunder <laughs> uh or whatever her goddamn name is how dare you <laughs> criticize my <laughs> uncle come on guys the old biden me pressy but anyways all these people are thinking overpopulation is a thing if they get pregnant like i can't contribute to uh, global warming and then they cut it so unfortunately that is the case crisis resolution but it is a misplaced crisis resolution and we need to do something about it yeah come on you're eating your fucking impossible fucking burgers <laughs> your fucking tofu that's, I love the, tofu. that's where the kids are going the fuck out of here you know what i mean the impossible burgers <laughs> this tastes like so much meat well it is meat <laughs> fetus meat. unborn oh meat. my gosh they, they don't they don't have to label now. it as allegedly meat. mcdonald's meat is that too so yeah really well, okay yeah ronald McDonald's. McDonald's. he's satan himself <laughs> La bestia. <laughs> In the hamburger, so... what is he stealing? Souls. Fetuses. Right? Yeah. Abortions, he's oh taking them, God, putting dude. them in his sack. Now it's clicking. Now it's Giving clicking. Giving it to the little blue thing. What is that? Plan B. Whatever the fuck his name is. Butt plugs. It's Grimace. <laughs> Grimace, okay? Because now the females Grimace are grimacing the there. They're, they're children. Okay. They're soon... Soon to no longer be. What's children. that? What was that girl with like the pigtails and like? That's the girl that aborted the baby, Salas. Okay. No, but what was she in the McDonald's thing? Soul sucker Sally. <laughs> Those are handlebars. <laughs> Bobby never heard of her either. I don't know her name. Actually, Google it real quick. She's okay. like, she's I like thought part you were bird. talking about Wendy's. She's but... like part bird, right? <laughs> yeah, she was part bird. Yeah, part you got nuts beak. in your mouth. She, she had that beak. Oh, where? That did mRNA. It take <laughs> She was that fucking, oh, was uh, have, she was a bird, huh? Yeah, she was part bird. <laughs> that shit's for the bird. She, she was that butt pecker, you know? She was some dipset bird guy. <laughs> dipset, dipset. <laughs> Damn, that was enlight you know, enlightening, host. Hey, I'm here for, uh, I have on, answers. Dude. I don't have the solutions, but I got answers. Yeah, you, guys, you guys only got questions. That's why you guys are fucking watching us, okay? Yeah. Freaking idiots. That's true. Come on. It's true. We're waiting for Alice, guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, her name was Birdie the Early Bird. Oh, you know that is a premature baby, guys. The early bird, huh? Yep, the early bird. Maybe special. she survived an abortion. Yep, she escaped out of the bag of the hamburger. And with this liberal agenda, they canceled her because she's not in McDonald's anymore. Exactly. The grimace is still around because he's a butt plug. Everyone loves butt plugs now. Oh, especially now. Yeah. Oh, come Man. on. Hamburglar, where is he? They decriminalized him. Well, they let why... him out into the yeah, streets they... of Chicago. You yeah. want to know why they have the adult kids meal now? Hey, how no you more bought children. that shit? <laughs> you bought it? <laughs> oh, I, did not buy that shit. I was like, I've been wanting to buy one just to fucking get a toy. Yeah, you guys better not. You guys buy one. You guys are both fucking fired. Okay. Oh, Somebody... then I guess I won't buy one. I can't remember who bought one, but like the toy. It looks like the the what's that PlayStation Three game? The sack guy, little little it's, big world. Yeah, it's a little. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it looks like that guy with okay. four arms. The voodoo guy, eyes. basically. Yeah, it looks so like that. Fucking weird. Like voodoo doll. And dude, old people, fuck, go fuck yourselves. Oh, you need <laughs> so a there's no adult happy meal. You know? Come on, man. People are sitting there taking their fucking pictures. You freaking idiots. I want a happy meal too. Yeah. I don't like it. Can you imagine just being like in the marketing thing for uh, McDonald's? No. It's like people are missing out. You know, adults, <laughs> we got to start including adults on here, you know? All this lives is how matter. pedophilia starts. Exactly. It's true. You know? Yeah. The Golden Arches M stands for misinformed fuck faces. Yeah. Okay. Now they're going to go there. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to. You want to see my toy? You know? I'll show you, you my wanna toy. You want to see my toy, Thomas? 
And what's going to happen to poor Thomas on the slide, Hoss? Get molested. He's going to get stuck. Okay, they're going to put some of that fucking secret sauce on him, you know? He's going to have oh Alzheimer's. Gosh. He's going to forget how to get to the bottom uh, of the slide. They're going to give him the McBitchin, you know what I mean? Slowly suffocate and die. Indicative of what? Dying in the womb, a.k.a. the uterus. Exactly. You think they're pulling him in the, the ball pen? Is that what it's called? No, the fallopian tubes. <laughs> okay? Because women don't have balls, you idiots. They got oh, fallopian tubes. I thought you were talking about the gulag. The M for, uh, <laughs> in McDonald's, minor attracted person. Yeah, Idiots. minor attracted person. Okay? Disgusting fucks. I'm never eating McDonald's again. So if I see anybody of you guys, if I catch you there, you guys are fucking pedophiles, okay? You guys better not pull up to McDonald's, okay? McDonald's is officially canceled. Yeah. So I just read, I just kept reading on this, and it said, what is Grimace anyways? And it says, he's an enormous taste bud, but a taste bud nonetheless. He's got a taste for? Children. For fecal matter. <laughs> Fetus flesh. Yep. And fecal flesh too, you know? Yep. <laughs> But, yeah. Well, when you abort a fetus, it still has, you know, some caca, so. So what else do we need to say, Hoss? Nothing else. We've spoken <laughs> our minds. Okay. 3,000 lives are getting lost. You guys, oh, 9-11. Okay. Never forget. Always remember. You know, you freaking idiots. But, hey, everybody forgets about the 3,000 lives you never got to There's see. There's a 9-11 every day now with abortions. Every Think day. of all the playgrounds in the world. They would be filled right now with joy. With one happiness. Of the, one of those fucks had the cure for cancer and here we are and here we are exactly. fucking struggling here we are look with fucking two guns you know Three no guns. wishing wells <laughs> no wishing wells oh that's true fucking you know Ugh. no <laughs> remote <laughs> control cars no saturday morning okay. cartoons <laughs> no pokemon i can't do this and anymore. no joy yeah hey hobby hobby dude <laughs> fucking hobby hey get the bible i'm having a late term get abortion the bible. <laughs> Right. The good abort him. Maybe, hey, Javi can read us a passage. You know he was about yeah. to abort himself. You got a kid on the way. Come on. Javi, Come on, you know? now. Let's not be that selfish. Damn, man. I You're think maybe because it's there? Halloween, but the dark energy has been a little bit more present. Have you noticed? Strong. Well, not it is about the one year anniversary of us getting Annabelle. Oh, oh really? shit. Yeah. Oh, me and Annabelle are supposed to go on a date. That's right. Are you yeah. gonna take her to McDonald's? I'll take her somewhere nice. <laughs> that would be kind of hot, you know. Get a little ketchup on her. You think so? Yeah. Get more than ketchup <laughs> on her. <laughs> Shark Week. <laughs> Some of that chicken nugget or what? I or hope that so. Big Mac or that fish fillet or what? You know what that one calls? The fish fillet. Yeah, fillet. <laughs> no, fillet of fish. Oh yeah. I'll fillet her fish. <laughs> you ready? I think so. Okay. All right, this is from Proverbs chapter 24, Ooh. paragraph 15. This person Ooh. loves action. They're proverbs. Proverbs, you know. They're hooked on phonics, guys. Okay, come on. This is a diverse warnings. Lie not in wait against the home of the just man and ravage not his dwelling place. For the just man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble to ruin. Amen. 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 I'm in. His dwelling, the uterus. The man, a fetus. He stumbled seven times? He still made it out. Exactly. You know, he still many survived. Men. Many, <laughs> many, 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 many. Wish that upon me, Lord, I don't Lord, cry no, no more. more. Don't Damn. look to the sky no more. I mean, hey, that would be crazy if you were a uh, surviving abortion, you know? It'd Technically, crazy, all man. of us are, you know what I mean? We are. A couple abortion survivors, you think so? Us? Yep. We should yeah. make a group name. Abortion survivors. Abortion survivors. <laughs> Anonymous, okay? <laughs> ASA. ASA. ASA! <laughs> a bunch of Mexicans are going to be there, you know? Which is <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> What's this meaning about homes? <laughs> I want to tell you how your life actually <laughs> means something. <laughs> you know? With the fucking neck. I was Cortez. told they'd be a couple of little Hey, I got Cortez's on right now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They canceled those. Yeah, yeah, right. That's what she no. asked. Nike's no, not really, making yeah. them anymore. No more? No. Oh, I better fucking buy me some more then. After no, you better Cortez not use those anymore, you know? Store. I don't yeah. fucking care. I'll buy me another pair. And then keep these ones like a vintage or Cause something. Because appropriation, that's what they were doing, you know? It's because of Cortez, the conquistador. Oh, that's why? Yeah. Oh, Which makes no mad. sense because then the Mexicans embraced it, bro. Like It's true. We took. They turned a negative into a positive. We took it too hard yeah. in a sense. You know? Yeah. But I'm done talking about this negative stuff, you know? I am too. Can we talk about some happy stuff, Hoss? I hope so. What happy stuff maybe happened to you this uh, weekend, do you think? Did you do anything happy? 
I mean, I was diving into the history of a specific someone. Should I release or no? Like the information or nah? I mean, yes. a little bit or what? Uh, so many of you may have noticed there's some characters that we have here. Um, and these characters are special in our lives because they've been wandering, some of them, the earth for many, many, many years. And they may have been lost souls, a couple lost boys, lost girls, and all other forgotten, forgotten. genders. <laughs> no and I think their story needs to be told. We've been able to share some of their stories, but not their complete story or their origins. Uh, you know, what they're about, how they got to be with us. And they they can talk, but they're pretty quiet, you know? They, they don't choose, like to the, they the choose for a vow of silence for the 3,000 people that are lost every day Yep. due to pro-choice. Um, so they use their pro-choice to choose to not to talk to fucks. And that being said, their story needs to be told. And I'm happy that I get to be, we get to be, excuse me, a conduit of their message to be able to deliver that message of their story, their history, their very colorful past. Because we're not racist here. And soon that will be shared. But that's that was very happy for me. Very enlightening. Very fulfilling. Very peaceful. Oh, yeah. You know, so there's going to be some hint. stuff coming out. You know yeah. what I mean? So you guys keep your ears out to the streets. But we did work on stuff. What else did we do? We went, uh, we tried to go thrifting a little bit, huh? This weekend? We went thrifting a little bit. Un unsuccessful. We were unsuccessful, you know? But speaking of Baghdad baddies, we saw a couple Baghdad baddies. Oh, yeah. Can you tell them what? You want to tell them what happened, Hoss? Um... No, it's, it's confidential, but they were bad. You know? They were and the good kind of bad, not the bad bad. They were wearing the little tur. What are those called? The turbans? Or what are those ones yeah, called? Yeah, the, the turbans. The ninja the, masks. The hijabs. The hijabs. The, uh, the hijabi. Bala the balaclavas. You name it, they were wearing them all. Yeah, but we attractive. saw them, do you know, just through the eyes, you know? Dude, those Ooh, eyes. Oh, I bet they had beautiful they eyes. Gorgeous eyes. You know, but one thing, because we were... And hey, guys, don't run on McDonald's, us, but... <laughs> We went into the thrift store. How many baddies, Baghdad baddies, was there, host? There Seven. were three Baghdad baddies. And there were a lot of other races, too, huh? Yes. Baddies of other races? Yes. There were a couple woodies. What's a woody? That's a white baddie. It's a white oh. girl with a booty. <laughs> okay. There were. Yeah. And that's that was a, a special treat for sure to see. And a couple other races, huh? There Miscellaneous, was, you there know? There was a couple dark chocolates. Uh, a couple Chocolatonas, Latinas, Negra you know? Tomasa. Yeah, a couple uh, Latinas. Latinx? Oh, yeah, they were out no, there. No, not Latinx, Latinas. Oh, um, they were Latinas? Yeah. Oh, there was a Venezolana, I remember, Hoots? A waterhead baby Venezuelan. What happened to her, dude? The inflation got to her head. Did you should have seen her? It was like... Dude, it was too much. Uh, yeah, that... All that socialism got to her head and pu I, pushed it out. Dude, it looked like she freaking... Dude, it, like a water balloon when you start Let's just say she would need three turbans to wrap her head up, you know? She, yeah, she looked like Jimmy Neutron if he was real, you know? I was like, yo, you know, I thought it was a couple fucking Anunnakis, you know? It was a couple, what is it? Basusakis or whatever, they, you know, they call them in Venezuela, you know? But they were out there eating, huh? Was... They were eating. Oh, and we actually saw a little person, too, remember? We did, yeah. Dude, yeah. We went out to eat. You want to tell them where we went out to eat? Uh, I don't even remember the name of the place. Well, this place is called Big Tortas. Oh, yeah, Big Tortas. Big oh, Tortas. On, uh, what the fuck on the is south that? side. Was it 39th South? Yeah, and like yeah, something, there. Fifth yeah. West. Or I don't something? know what West it's on, but I know it's on 39th South. And yeah. what, what did you get, Hoss? You want to tell them what you got? Yeah, I got the Sur 39. <laughs> He's like, hey, Sur 13, go fuck yourself. You guys right? are fucking miners, okay? Hoss was out there 39. You shoot for those cougars. <laughs> Come on, that huh? midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> that LLA, you know. <laughs> but, but here's the thing a lot of you guys know, um, you know, I'm Puerto Rican. I don't eat Mexican food on the daily. And I also have the opinion, and not opinion, but fact, there's a lot of terrible Mexican food oh, yeah. in true. the Salt Lake Valley. Oh, okay, definitely. Like a lot of terrible Mexican food, which is a shame because I know Mexican food can be delicious. Yeah. So I find it almost insulting that a Mexican would put that out on their behalf, on your guys' behalf. Yeah. You think Santos' mom knows how to fucking cook? <laughs> no. I would hope so. You ate the do? You think they fucking eat weed? You think that their mom knows how to fucking cook? <laughs> I love these chicken nuggets. <laughs> these dino nuggets are amazing. I know? love dino nuggets. You think fucking Gabino has they fucking, fucking good. You know? No, none you of these know? people know, okay? Know how to fucking Y'all should come I'm a house. cook. Uh, I represent all Latinos, okay? A lot of you fucking people, you're not really about La Latinos United. La I cultura, am, okay? L-U, okay? I rep for Mexicans. I rep for Boricuas. I rep Morena. for all Latinos, okay? Not that you Cubana. guys are fucking front runners. But anyways, we Dominica. walk in. 
They have some Mexican music playing. Oh, yeah. I, I enjoy Mexican music. Don't get me wrong. Mexican music. Dude, like, you know, the ones that I hate, you know? Like, yeah, like the banda, banda ranchera. The, you don't fucking, like banda? The trumpet was going oh, you wild, you know? Yeah. Like, bro. Fuck? Tell them what happened, though, after I ordered my food and they saw... Because I spoke to them in my accent, right? Because the lady spoke Spanish. I'm like, dame el sandwich sur 39, por favor, una sangria. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you heard a little marimba. Tring, ting, ting, ting. Yo que siempre. Tiriri, la Caribe. You know? They started playing salsa Puerto music. Puerto Rico. Mi amor. And then I'm like, okay, they just got a mixed playlist. Yep. Salsa a second time in a row. Salsa a third time in a they row. They try to welcome you. you yeah, know, the entire you time like... we ate there, it was all salsa music. I thought it fucking it looked like a salsa bar in there. You know what <laughs> I mean? Did you know? They had Apple uh, music playing in the back. They heard you. You were Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even them. It just was them. They invited my privacy. <laughs> <laughs> we got God. Come yeah. on. No, I mean, I they being... were making you feel special. It was Apple. It's Siri. Yeah, Siri was fucking it, trying to lure you. Siri in. was fucking with me, okay? Uh, it's called He Uses Powers, okay, guys? You think he's going to fall <laughs> victim to a fucking... I walked in and I knew. You know? I'm just like, I'm here. Play my goddamn music. Because Paul okay? Jackson, as he turned in, he's like, Suavemente, you know? Besame. And that Which fucking that's drunk it was so. You know? So <laughs> they didn't play that, but he said that. Besame, and it was a different song. You know, that yep. came on. But yeah, it was nice. Host still right at home, you know? I did. It felt really nice, actually. I got, was singing, but no one else knew the words, which means they were uncultured Mexicans. Come on, fucking uncultured beaners. Swine. You know what I mean? Um, which sucks, because I know a lot of Mexican songs, but you guys don't know my music? I um, know your music. They were trying Thank to you. be culture eating a holandesa. You know yeah. what I mean? A cubana torta. <laughs> you know what I mean? Una a rusa. rusa. <laughs> you know? I was like, you guys don't even know the fucking song, you know? Yeah. Come on. They man. couldn't even paint the Russian flag if they wanted yeah. to. Um, <laughs> they get shot by Putin, okay, guys? Come on. <laughs> Bombed by Putin. <laughs> but in the corner, there was a dwarf. Yeah, it was a dwarf. That's a Latino so dwarf. What? Yeah. We saw one, dude. It was yeah. crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a Latino dwarf. No, I, don't think I've I haven't either, actually. That was my first yeah. one. You know? Maybe we'll spot more now. Maybe we got to go back there, you know? It's this is what happens when Latinx wants to be all inclusive. You know? There was never any Latino dwarfs, and now <laughs> our genes are fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we got... So you got a Sur 39, you know? Sur and what did that one have, boss? Tell uh, them what it had, dude. Fucking... All this over here was fucking torta campechana. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the campechana, dude, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. What What did it have? It had beef steak. It had um. What's it was by steak. It was a fucking gay steak. <laughs> hey, rapping for that community, you know. <laughs> that bite. Not LGBT. my choice, but I, I support them too. <laughs> the LGBT torta. <laughs> uh, it had peppers. It had onions. Tomate, lechuga. Didn't oh, yours have like all the meat? Now. Yeah, I had like three meats, but I can't. Remember. Uh, I know. I remember beef steak they was it one. The Arby's. I think you had chicken or no? I think I had chicken too. Ham, I think you might have had ham too. Yeah, those were the three. Yeah, but and then we got a couple tacos, you know? Yep. There was the Suadero. Suadero and the what's the other one? Chorizo. Chorizo. You know? And you liked them? They were pretty good? I liked it. And I like the salsa verde. I don't like the the roja. I don't want to go a little too spicy. I've for never it's not even the spice, even the flavor. Like if it toned down on the spice, I still would pick the verde over it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got what the hell did I get again? You remember? You got the what's the oh one? the brasileña yeah, the Brazilian the, one because it had the piña. Yeah, that had pineapple and then it had a I think it was like a chicken steak, you know, and queso Oaxaca string cheese. When you saw it, what did he say? I said that's what Javi eats, you know. <laughs> and he said he never had string cheese his fucking life. Yeah, so I was like, oh Oaxaca, that's the cheese Javi's had that uh, he didn't recall having string. It cheese. was the stringiest cheese. He had more strings than regular string cheese, you know. It had more strings than fucking you think Pinocchio. That cheese yeah. has Wi-Fi? Fuck no, it's landline. <laughs> You know, come on, dude. And he's like, oh, no. He got so mad at Javi for lying. I'm like, look, this is the cheese that Javi was talking about. <laughs> I was acting pretty pissed. And he was like going like this. I was, I was like, one, two, three, four. <laughs> look how many, how many, how many strings, strings I can make out of this. You know? Well, a couple of Mexicanos had never seen an angry Puerto Rican before. So they were oh, like wow. a little bit leery. That's oh, why they're shit. playing the music. They're Maybe. like, oh, we got to calm this He's going to stab this whole joint <laughs> up. You know? <laughs> Hopefully he can get up and dance right. it off. Yeah. Yeah. So many strings. Hogan. Another fucking little hermano started knitting a fucking sweater and gave it to Jose after. Huh? <laughs> when he walked out. Hulk actually was you, you, knitting you, the sweater for the midget guy. Yeah, he's like, uh, you ordered suadero, I made you a sua suadero. suadero. <laughs> <laughs> Un suete. Un sudadera, huh? Give him a little sudadera. I couldn't say it. Damn. Yeah. That's the Mexican jogger. Yeah. Ruined. Yeah. <laughs> the Mexican jogger? Well, I need suadero. a jog, yeah. That's... You know? That's funny. But what about you guys? What did you guys do? Maybe Javi, he was out there with El Pony a little bit, you know? Hey, we were out and about. Um, Where did we you guys go? To a pumpkin patch. Yeah. Oh, how to that cute. Kalahara one. And then Draper? 
Yes. Yes. Hey, That's stop Asian hate, man. Come on. Well, I thought it was uh, Polynesian, but <laughs> it was it was good. They they had more food this time. I didn't try any. Oh no, I lied. I grabbed a hot dog because the people were from Argentina. I was like, oh, I want to try Argentinian hot dogs. This it was. Alice, basically... well, sorry. Let me sit. What's going on? Alice is not doing her job. You know what I mean? Too many immigrants. I watched the Mexican border, not the Argentinian border. Do they go through Mexico? <laughs> Come on. Well, go, I so... mean, if I'm going to be honest, Argentinian people are fucking hot. I love their fucking accent. They're fucking it's sexy they're all as Nazis, fuck. Alice. Yeah, exactly, Alice. <laughs> maybe that's why Alice likes them. <laughs> maybe that's why <laughs> I just let them pass white, through. You know, they just uh, let them fly. They're down. full of oppression. Yeah. Alice's yeah. Nazi connections. <laughs> Myth, Myth busted. busted. <laughs> okay. And so did she. And her obsession. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, sorry, go ahead. So you got a little hot dog. Uh, Argentinian hot dog. What did it have in Argentina? Dude, it just, bro, it was just like, I'm assuming it was just a turkey dog wrapped in bacon. I was like, oh, that's it? Like... We have this shit in Mexico, you know, and and then even the jalapenos were like chopped up funny. Like it wasn't like no relish. I don't know. It wasn't the best. <laughs> chopped up. They chopped them a hot dog style, not hamburger yeah. style. Yeah, it was it, it was just not very good. And um, that's it. We took a bunch of pictures. Uh, we went to Chukarama to eat after. Yeah, Magnolia hates Chuck? that place. Chuck was not there. You no? know, I wish he was, but what did so, you get? I got my my favorite, the funeral potatoes. Oh, they had funeral potatoes? Yeah, they have. Oh, That's for the 3,000 abortions every day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're Christian or some type of Mormon. Oh, yeah, that's why they're doing it all the Tukarama, time. yeah. Oh, it, that yeah. Sense. Fucking every Patriot Sunday, you know? Tukarama, man. You and, can't uh, talk with your mouth full. You have to be silent. <laughs> and there I got, like, stuffing, hey, which I like Which is there. what the abortion used to be. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Well, they took it out as representation yeah. okay. and you know what's funny they put those right next to each other the funeral potatoes <laughs> and the well, what do you think i i know a couple things okay Come on, he's got powers powers, powers. That, yeah. that cheese just tie things together let's go <laughs> but, uh, what else i had that chicken that they dip in the sauce oh that's some good what chicken you, that's a good chicken fuck, you know what i'm talking yeah. about right? the chicken that they dip in the sauce have Whoa, you guys not been to if you've ever been to chukarama you oh know what the fuck gosh. i'm talking about oh. that red sauce chicken like a barbecue no i feel you magnolia hates that place hey hates if you're it. if you're not oh. local don't even fucking listen to this we should we should go though you maybe never had that they should they should, they should. Bobby, he doesn't want to take us we told him hey you want to do stuff what did he say fuck you guys yeah you know uh, he didn't even tell us he was going to Chukarama. <laughs> he he didn't even say that he was going to the pumpkin patch. No, he didn't go to the pumpkin patch. No, we would have yeah. gone. I would have been down. Right, we'll make, Alice? I would have gone. She could have taken Victoria. I could have, yeah. yeah. Victoria would have loved pumpkin we'll patches. A, well, I could have taken Courtney's kids. You could have taken Courtney's kids. I would have found a pumpkin a patch there myself. You know? <laughs> You know, <laughs> Mel Pony was only there to smash pumpkins. Oh, huh? sure he would. But uh, so oh, yeah, yeah, he was making you. a bunch of friends too. Like Mel oh, Pony, he's cute. like, hey, this is a good pumpkin. You know, like whatever he says in his language to other babies. <laughs> to he other says, babies. Gabu Bobby. <laughs> Gabu Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that, you know. And was he making white friends or all white kinds friends, of friends? All kinds of friends. Uh, Hispanic friends, matters. Brazilian friends. There's this girl that was like, I assume was Brazilian because the dude was wearing a Brazilian hat. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, or whatever, you know? I was like, it's okay. He's just trying to make friends. He definitely didn't get Argentine and hot dogs. Huh? <laughs> no, guy. he didn't. Oh, no, he, he did not. I <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, totally. that guy was in the corner, <laughs> probably mean mugging the other guys, you know? So I know they hate each other, but El Pony was trying to, you know, be the, Rich the gap, diplomatic you know? immunity there. Latinos United, LU. Yes. Yeah, and uh, he, the girl was crying probably because she saw the Argentinians. So like, I don't know, but he was like, like he went up to the little girl and like tapped her feet and they're like hey it's okay you know in this land we're all one yeah, we're all, all he was, crying? He was yeah. trying to calm her down yeah he was like hey like Aww. all cheerful and stuff look Very at it funny try yeah. to be political cheerful and sounds familiar yeah yeah it runs in the family you know but um yeah it was it was a good time Took... so now is it true like now you make like weird friends like you talk to the parents or you don't talk to the parents when the baby because talking... a lot of them didn't want to talk to me yeah yeah like they were just like oh like they're happy that the kids are talking but like they i would like, say okay. something they just look at each other awkwardly like <laughs> Dude, it's not that they didn't want to talk to you they were taking the vow of silence for the three thousand babies that have been lost Dang, i, I did they know. had their own like, babies hey, you, you, think they were, you, know, I'm sorry. you think they were pro-choice no right? probably not but oh they i tried to guilty? make conversations yeah they were taking a vow of silence 
And Cynthia, she just talked to the moms? Well, she was just hanging out. It was hot as shit that day. Saturday, yeah. Saturday was pretty hot. Well, no, we went Sunday. Oh. But that this weekend was like a little spicy. It wasn't yeah. even that hot, huh? Come on. No. We were no, out there working. Hot. We were landscaping. It was no home. shade at all. We were like ducked behind oh, some no barrels. no shade. Did we have shade? Is there any trees, huh? No, we throw all the shade, though. Okay. <laughs> you guys throw the shade. That's probably why Where the you fuck were you cool, guys, huh? Right? Well, we need this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. You failed us. But yeah, like she was just hanging out, sitting by the the crates of hay and, and the dead corn and stuff. So trying to get like the only shade that we found. And then we were sitting on a, a wagon because there's no fucking chairs either. Oh, that mm. sucks. Yeah, it was fucking hot, dude. And what about El Pony when he went to Chocorama? Did he get does he get upset or he doesn't get or no, he, he was already he tired? Mac and cheese. He had his. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that mac cream. and cheese there is fucking fire. Yeah, dude, Chuckle was. Yeah, you know, I want to go to Chuckarama. I do too. I'm Let's fucking go. hungry we'll now. I never even went to Chuck E. Cheese, dude. I never went to Chuck E. Cheese. No? I was. I didn't like cheese. rats. We've been so to that Chuck E. Cheese. Sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah we, we, been, we, we don't fuck with rats, huh? Yeah, fuck rats. <laughs> Shout out to 6 9 Well, that's it? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Did you guys do anything for Victoria Alice, or that's more. Later I think that's week? more this weekend. Yeah, what are you guys going to do? Uh, I don't know. It's whatever Magnolia wants to do. She partied for Karina's birthday. I, I partied, yeah. I partied for my sister's yeah. birthday for sure. Where'd you guys go? We went up to Park City. Uh, her boyfriend ended up getting like a cabin kind of thing. So we all kind of ended went up, up being there. what? She, uh, her boyfriend got a cabin for the oh. weekend. I thought you said her boyfriend ended up being a mechanic. I was like, what? <laughs> Victor's <laughs> tires. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you need a mechanic, you know where to go. But he got a cabin? He got a cabin. We went up to Park City. We partied all Saturday. Saturday night into Sunday morning kind of thing. Went out to the bars up in Park City, which was kind of cool, but kind of lame at the same time. What was lame about it? Um, Just because I feel like the bar that we went to, I mean, the bar that we went to was pretty cool. It was popping and everything, but it was just not really popping at the same. There were only the brown, the only brown people there. Yeah. In a sense, just yeah. Just like Javi really was, was in that farm, you know, once that's, he noticed. That's true. You know, nobody wanted to talk to him. Nobody wanted to talk to him. They, they were just like, look at these lazy Mexicans. They're in agriculture. <laughs> and they're just sitting around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they thought. Work. <laughs> <laughs> what are these goddamn Mexicanos doing, huh? I want my cherry tomatoes big right now. <laughs> oh, we know there was this fucked up knee, you know? <laughs> Master! <laughs> Senor, no puedo. <laughs> My leg yeah, is yeah. broken. I Meanwhile, we were just fucking working like fucking patriots, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the sun hurt me. You know, Javi? Come on, man. Maybe we want to hear a fucking nightmare. You know what I mean? This Possibly. is turning into a nightmare. Or maybe, what do we have, Alice? We got a nightmare? We got a... An inquisitory question. Or a question. We have a nightmare. We okay. got a nightmare, you know? It is. Because can I tell you guys my nightmare really quick? Yeah. Sure. Really quick, dude, because it was weird, dude. Like, I had a dream that I went... I was, like, getting ready to go to Mexico, right? And, uh... Oh, maybe... Filomeno's here, but getting ready to Mexico, I got all my bags. Like, I'm having such a just going through the airport, you know, going through those uh electric escalators, you know, just having the best time going through the airport. And then I get on the plane and it starts taking off, right? And I'm like, oh, and I can see myself kind of, you know, start going up into the sky. And then once like the it's like the plane gets stabled, I'm like, I forgot to bring my fucking pills. <laughs> <laughs> And I looked, Filomeno wasn't there, dude. You were going like, to Ibiza. Oh, dude, I was so scared. Yeah. And I woke up, dude. I was like, it was like 4 o'clock. I couldn't go back to bed, dude. <laughs> you know what I was like? That's pretty scary. Yeah, because it started off as a great dream, you know? Like, yeah. I told you I was having fun in the airport. And then I'm like, bro, like, I don't have my pills and stuff. I was like, oh, I was so scared. I'm like, what am I going to tell the pilot to go back? Like, am I going to be able to get a uh, prescription over in the wherever country I'm going from? <laughs> Luckily, the Lord, you know, woke me up, man. But oh, nice. Sorry, Alice. Take us. Maybe she can take us to the thing, you know? Yes. I forgot my phone, damn it. She forgot? I know, I know, on, I know, I know. I know. I forgot my phone. I'm sorry. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. The nightmare that we have and remember guys i have dyslexia so be patient <laughs> you know how long have they been patient for us you know the entire show <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know what she's saying half the time <laughs> oh, okay that's fucked up but okay. <laughs> 
Anyways, the dream <laughs> is in this dream, I experienced being in a frozen mud mudslide and being dragged away from a pool before riding a special military s shuttle bus into the airport. Once at the airport, I would return home. This shuttle happened multiple times before I had some sort of premonition in a cargo ship went sideways after being dragged by an icy water until it went sideways and destroyed the frozen port. That's it? That's it. Okay. I'm lost. I don't even know what happened, honestly. I think I have it down, but... W Do you want me to go through it again? Go yeah, through it again? Yeah, a little bit slow? Time, I okay. In this dream, I experienced being in a frozen mudslide and being dragged away from a pool before riding a special military shuttle bus into the airport. Once at the airport, I would return home. The shuttle, the shuttle would ha happen multiple times before... Hold on, the camera went weird. Uh, before I had some sort of premonition and a cargo went away, oh, went sideways after being dragged by icy water until it hit sideways and destroyed the frozen ports. Destroyed the frozen ports? Yeah. Ports. P O R T. It's an interesting picture that this individual is painting. I don't right? know what's going on. This guy's on drugs, you know? <laughs> That's what? actually kind of what I'm interpreting. Yeah. Is so the frozen mudslide represents their desire to quit their drugs cold turkey. Okay. okay. So after that, they go to the airport. Yes. Yes. That is the rehab center. So at the rehab center, you know, she go he or she whoever goes through the processes, and now it's metaphorically the time she hasn't. They have not gone through all of this yet. They're just thinking of it. They've gone cold turkey. They know now they have to go to rehab because maybe now they need medical and professional intervention because sometimes that is absolutely needed for these circumstances. So the shuttle tries to take this individual home. This home would be sobriety. But there's the cargo ship that turns sideways and blocks it that is still the apparent use of drugs because addiction is extremely hard to, to kick. So it's like the shuttle keeps trying to go back, but there's the block and sends them back to the frozen port. It's basically like on a loop, right? You go through the process and you relapse. Process and then you relapse. That's what they're experiencing, and they know that the road ahead is going to be difficult, but it's the road they have to take. So it's like that corny saying, I mean, regardless of how corny it is, it, I mean, it's applicable. It's not how many times you fall. You just have to get back up one more time than you fall. I mean, you've succeeded, but that's like the, we'll circle to they're the trying to addict, yeah. uh, to kick the addiction. So, you were going to say it's not the size of the boat, but the motion. <laughs> that's the one you were talking about. I mean, I shouldn't. I I'm... Dude, I actually had it similar, so I'm just going to go next. Because I oh, like hold a on. mudslide. For some reason, your camera just went off, dude. It's okay. They don't need to see me. Oh, I need to see you. <laughs> I can check. Where are you? Maybe it shut off. I'm lost. <laughs> He's a lost I'm boy. I'm lost in the... Where's Javi? In this nightmare world. <laughs> Oh, Hobby's lost. Just comes in over here, Hobby. Fucked by Jimmy. <laughs> We're almost done, anyways. Yeah. But okay, let me say, let me say my thing, because it was or basically. Just come like... back to Alice. Yeah, just mic. come over here. Well, I could say you keep the camera off me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just go on. I'll, just go on. Find my way out of this nightmare in a sec. Okay. <laughs> so I'm in the dark. <laughs> He's having a nightmare of his own. <laughs> but uh. It was pretty pretty similar because like I was thinking alcohol because of the mudslide. Okay. Frozen mudslide. We've never had that drink. It's actually delicious. So if you're not an alcoholic, go get that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they talked about swimming pools. You know who else talks about swimming pools? There's no swimming Kendrick pools. Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Didn't you say they were in a she swimming said a pool? pool? A pool. Yeah. You said a pool, but so I assume there's swimming. I think she was stuck. I think she tried to say a loop. No, she didn't say a swimming pool. Oh, she just said yes, a pool. Oh yes, there's pool. a pool. Yeah. So Being dragged away from the pool. Kendrick also talks about swimming pools. What is that song about? Alcohol. Alcohol. Drinking. Yeah. So back to like kind of what Hoss was saying. If this person keeps relapsing on whether it's drugs or alcohol. Fucking grow pair and man up. Just Makes like sense. I am about to do and find my way out of this nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. Um, Damn, right, it, was, it was a kind of a piggyback, but not really. You took mine. My... Well, mine was nice, okay? Mine was encouraging. You said, man the fuck up. <laughs> Damn. Everybody dude. mans up. Mine was sympathetic, okay? Mine was toxic masculinity at its best. 
What about Let's you? Do you have what am a, I gonna say? an interpretation? Well, now, once both of them are there, maybe I can use both of the reading power to oh. just refresh up my memory a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh, man. We thought you were going to adjust that. So maybe, can you guys recap it a little bit? Oh, you want me to read it again? Yeah, just like recap it. So I remember there's a frozen mudslide. Yeah, so she's, ex or this person is experiencing a frozen mudslide that's being dragged away from a pool before riding a special military shuttle bus to an airport. And then once at the airport, uh, the shuttle keeps happening again. And then she, or this person gets a premonition and a cargo ship ends up going sideways, being dragged by icy water and then hits sideways into a frozen pillar or port. I forgot that piece. The cargo ship represents the company this person keeps. So they're the people that perpetually put this person back on drugs. That was the last piece I kind of missed to describe, but that's it. Makes sense, I guess. So let's see. Damn, bro. <laughs> Did she miss anything, Harvey? No, that's it. Okay. <laughs> like, that's spot on. Thing? Like, what? <laughs> what more do you need? You know, so maybe they're in the ocean, you know, in a shuttle. Okay. What's going on? You guys have heard about the inflation, you know? Boycott the Russians. You know, people are fighting. There, people are taxing people. You know, oh, you can't go across this border. There's a shortage of fuel. Oil, the prices are going super high. So what's going on? They're on this ship, you know, trying to, uh, you know, take off. Uh, but then El Prezi, you know, uh, fucking El Bori, you know, <laughs> fucking Biden El Prezi, he's putting the, oh, different sanctions. You know, he's about to take off. Oh, he puts a sanction. He has to come back. Okay. So there's three different sanctions that the uh, president of the United States of America is imposing on this cargo ship that this person had to order a package three times from Amazon, which was coming delivered in the brown box, traditional Amazon package. That's what the mudslide actually was, was all the packages that she wasn't getting. All three of them came in at the same time to her doorstep. And now she has three things that she can't use, you know, or three things that she can use, I guess, you know, <laughs> so she got three packages at the same time. She just kept ordering and ordering for Amazon. You know, they were fucking up the cargo ships, but now she has all three packages. She doesn't know what to do. Okay. The brown slide. Mudslide or whatever. The mudslide. <laughs> you know? I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was a major little bit of yeah, sense. You think that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, what about Alice? You know, whew, dude, I was fucking scared of that Mine's one. a story of victory, though. Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, she got three packages, man. Have you ever gotten three packages? Yeah. yeah. I have. Come on, how good do you fucking feel? You get three packages? Like Pretty fucking... nice. You get three TVs at once, you only paid for one? That'd be nice. How do you think I got so many fucking TVs in here? <laughs> Bro, that happened to me once. See? No, <laughs> this was no, obvious. No, but, but I fucked up. <laughs> you so got I... three TVs? No, it worse. This is so much worse. Oh I bought God. Cynthia some red bottoms, right? <laughs> <laughs> they were the wrong size. So I called. Or no, no, no. They don't show up. They showed up to the neighbor's house. I didn't know this. So I'm, I called the place. And uh, I, I was like, hey, I never got the shoes. And I'll be damned if I spent x amount of dollars uh -huh. for them to not show up and so what happens i fucking get the shoes and my dumb ass like the the guy comes back the the neighbor brings him over i was like hey we got this package too so we got <laughs> at the same day i was like oh fuck what do we do and she's like well they probably charged you for both so like go get your money back right yeah turns out they didn't they didn't charge oh, you for both? So I, yeah, my. so I could have kept both fucking pairs. Oh. oh! This was a nightmare, see? This oh. was this a nightmare. nightmare. Oh. He was going to man up and leave. He walked right back into his nightmare. <laughs> You know, that's why the camera went dark, dude. It yeah. was all I could have had sign, red bottoms you know? for free. For yeah. free. At least sold the other, oh, you know what I mean? One God. for your side Fucking piece, idiot. you know what I mean? <laughs> Instead, he like wants that. to be... <laughs> Instead, he wants to be, you know, the pure one, you know? Yeah. Come on. That's what I get for being a good guy, you know? You could have two red... Four red bottoms, technically, right? Because it's one... Four total, yeah. Two oh, pairs. Yeah. Dang, dude. Come on, hubby. Jeez. <sighs> That's why I got my basketball hoop, actually. Yeah. You know, we ordered for my birthday, actually, dude. I was looking at a basketball hoop for my birthday, uh, but the box was, like, damaged or something like that. And uh, I went to the store, to Walmart, to take back the box because mm -hmm. it was damaged. And they refunded my money and gave me a hoop from there. 
Yeah. So I got it for free, and I got to keep like the two hundred dollars from my hoop. Okay. And I got the hoop. Nice. So I got that like two hundred dollar hoop for free for my birthday. Shout out to Walmart. <laughs> what about you, Alice? What's your dream? Or your nightmare, your interpretation. Um, I'm gonna agree with Javi and Holes in this one. Oh, God, come on! Man. Just because I mean, it makes sense in the sense in the way like home <laughs> home home person is struggling through an addiction because obviously that's where most lights come through. You go up and down. You 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 know give in to whatever, and then I'm gonna say the military shuttle bus into the airport is where like maybe they go into like rehab or they go into gel you know try to sober up and everything Britney grinder right they try to do something like that and then the premonition and cargo ship is where like they go out and try to live their life but then obviously they kind of give in into a, like a bigger drug let's say hair on because it says icy water and i feel like oh hair on would be that they kind put of some ice in their yeah. vein they do the thing oh the angle oh yeah like yep. they you do know? that Three yeah they times? do that oh man now they're hooked for life you know and then obviously the frozen port i'm gonna say is their fucking vein because they just fucked up they fucked oh. up and then just kept going worse and worse they froze they died because they yep. put too much ice and you know that black ice they got iced out you yeah sucking yep. so, so yeah black tar heroin black ice you know and that's an exclamation point <laughs> yep okay Damn, but that's it for that neighbor huh yeah, yeah i think is. we did okay dude i think we did pretty good i was a little bit scared at first of mine but you know <laughs> I think we did awesome. I winged it a little bit, you know? I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I was sweating, dude. But what what else have we got? Uh that's what happens when you go through withdrawals, by the way. It's because I was missing my pill. Yep. You know? Dude, so maybe that even applied to me. Yeah. <laughs> I was relapsing on the plane, you know? Well, you were Oh my gosh, you did bed. tell us about a plane. See? Yeah. <gasps> Isn't that oh, crazy, dude? Also, he's just powers the guy. Come on, man. Damn, how many times was that today? Ooh, right? He's like the whole day. It's getting scary. Reproduction. He was calling shit out. Oh my god, dude, this is scary. Because I have felt a lot of big dick energy from you today, Hoss. You <laughs> Thank know? you. Yeah. Like he came in like fucking Vince McMahon when he walked in. You know. No yeah. chance. He didn't even fucking knock. I was like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he just kicked down the door. The door's off the hinge right now. <laughs> okay, my front door. That shit's fucking gone. You know, <laughs> so we got to use the side door for now. You know, because the fucking yes. house. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Kool Aid man. You know, just cool. You know, he doesn't have AIDS. Come on, he's a fucking. You know? oh, fuck. He's cool. <laughs> Listen, I'm like Magic Johnson. I ain't balling, but I'm still sick. Are we good for yeah. wholesome advice now? Yeah, we're good for wholesome advice. Oh man. So you're going to go first, Oz, huh? You want me to go first? Hey, you've been using your powers all day, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the advice should be. Oh, damn. I think that's... Um, I mean, I guess we're starting to approach what is known in the U.S. as the holiday season. I think this is when a lot of people kind of look at the position they're in. Maybe it's not as a... They're in an economic, difficult standpoint. They want to keep up with the Joneses or maybe put up impressions and make sure to buy whoever gifts or maybe look like they're getting gifts. I think it's kind of the the time to reflect and really see what's truly valuable in your life. Uh, I mean, material things are nice. Don't get me wrong. But of course I think it's where this is the time where you should value friendship. And if you don't have friends, I mean, and I had, I, I have to say, cause there are some people out there that may feel like they don't have friends or they may not even have friends in, in actuality. You got to kind of make an effort too. So Take some accountability. Try to make some friends. Don't be too overbearing in the sense of the friendship. Um, and for those of you who maybe don't reach out well, don't reach out to people at all. I'm not targeting you, okay? Um, who, me? Yeah, I'm not targeting you. I thought you'd be like, who oh. are you referring? Okay, just making sure. I don't care. I don't reach out to nobody, bro. I know you don't. Yeah. But So just make sure maybe you reach out. Extend like a, just drop a line. Uh, text them. Call them. Send them a DM on whatever platform you're on. But just check in with people. Make sure they know that you care. And again, if you don't, if you feel like you have no friends, you probably do. Maybe you just are difficult on yourself or you're lying to yourself because it's kind of cool to be a victim sometimes. <laughs> I don't think it is, but some people really think it is. But either way, reach out, make friends, and reach out to those maybe you haven't talked to in a while. Because I, I think that goes a long way, especially as we go further into the year before we hit the new year and everything's magically resets. But true, true. that'll be my advice. 
Yeah, the one thing that I posted on the workouts because I go to work out with my husband, you know. Yeah. With Dre, you know, so. We, but I always post her like I posted this week. It's like if you need a friend, you know, show up because it's like. I, I think a lot of people's like, oh, I I can't get into working out or I can't even. I mean, it's not like we do crazy workouts, you know. But I think it's like like you were saying, it's like a good social experience. Like, you just have to show up, you know. It's like yeah. there's been a couple of people that show up, but. I mean, I have also ran into a lot of people that are like, oh, I'm going to be there next week, you know? I'm going to show up. They, they never show up, you know? But then they're wondering, oh, why don't people support me? People aren't fucking with me. I was like, bro. You don't fuck with them. You know? You don't fuck with anybody. So, yeah, I think that's like a good one. So, if you guys ever want to come out, work out 730. We work out on Murray. Uh, What is it? Murray High School. That's what it is. Murray High School. Uh, On the football field. So, that's pretty fun. So, if you guys can get bored... You know, you guys, uh, we don't do anything crazy. It's for an all-inclusive workout. You know, gay people can work out. <laughs> strong people can work out. Weak people can work out. You know, it's pretty fun. And we do a little bit of drills. And my husband, he's a nice guy, you know? Uh, but let's see. For me, what am I going to say? Um, I thought that was it. Yeah, I thought yeah, that was that, it. That's my wholesome advice? Yeah, I thought that's what it was. Yeah, come work out with us, okay? <laughs> yeah. Shout out with Dre, he, uh, him and Will. So shout out to those guys. But yeah, come work out with us. Um, I'm gonna kind of go with horse and the thing with holidays, just cause holidays could be kind of hard for some people, and if you have those type of people in your life that kind of struggle when it comes to holidays or any kind of struggle, just kind of reach out to them and support them, even if they can't accept the support at that moment. Just be like, hey, I'm here for you. I know you're struggling. I know you can't take this kind of support, but just know, whenever you need me, I am here. Cause a lot of people just they need that support but they just don't know how to accept it in a sense can you see my fucking nose so it goes that way <laughs> the wrong way of the foot <laughs> you're just messing with your feet as Alice was giving us some wholesome advice fucked up guys hey, I'm here for you Alice it's cause he likes your voice so much he was like it was at the end <laughs> like, like, weird. It threw me off. Like, I know. <laughs> don't tell me it doesn't throw you off okay? they did throw me off yeah. but but, I uh, heard you Alice I yeah I heard you too that. Alice Reach out to the loved ones. They struggle with the holidays, you know? Oh, I'm not getting a gift, you know? You got the gift of life, you know? Well, maybe we'll make another Christmas special for those that don't have a well, we Christmas. Will make, yeah. You think so, guys, huh? I you love know? the specials. Yeah. So maybe we'll give you guys a Christmas there. gift, you know? All the orphans need one, too. Oh, we'll do it for the orphans, okay? <laughs> El orfanato. <laughs> We're going to do it at an orphanage. Meet the orphans. Yeah, so we'll give you guys a gift for Christmas, okay? So you guys can be lonely, watch and hang out with us like last time, and we'll have a blast. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead, Javi. Um, I think I'm going to say uh, people need to remember to uh, that they're not the main character in everyone's story. That uh, people aren't watching your life or not watching out for you because they have their own shit to hit, like worry about, you know? Um, I think people just need to learn that. Yeah, Santos, dude, <laughs> always fucking tagging me. Santos mentioned you. You're going fucking live. Dude, I don't want to fucking watch it, man. I told you I'm out in the fucking park with Sunny. I don't get no fucking data, bro, you know? You think I'm going to tap into a life, you know? Come on, man. <laughs> absolutely not you know burned all my fucking minutes dude fucking watching you fucking look all fucking tired okay dude come on man that's it that was good advice hobby actually yeah. <laughs> oh it's good you like, take you yourself out of your own mindset you know? yeah no i agree with you you have to understand if your perspective is only you and that everything should like yeah, you, that's like, an people entitlement. should be reaching out to you because you're going through something and they're supposed to know. Yeah. Fuck out of here. That's you know? a sense of entitlement. And yeah. that's a very selfish mindset. So I agree. You got to like remove yourself from your own concept. Yeah, like, you you have remember... to have outside perspective. Yeah, like you're not the only one going through shit. Everybody, like literally everybody is going through it. So that's true. You know, for sure. You know, because you know what's funny about that? Like the other day, I one of my friends, she's had a, a lot of health issues. And I was like, I was thinking about she was going to have another surgery, you know? But dude, it was weird because she was like, oh, do you think you can help me out a little bit and stuff like that? She was asking. And to me, it was just, she's had so many health issues that it almost seemed normal. You know what I mean? Like, I honestly like didn't even think like, I was like, oh, damn, I got to work. So I was thinking almost that, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, damn, I got to do a lot of this extra work. Like, because she having all, all this like routine stuff that almost 
normalize something that isn't normal you know what i mean so i felt like kind of bad after i was like yeah it's like i i i've gotten so used to you having these like medical procedures that like i i don't even sometimes like it doesn't click and like oh you're actually like going through a lot of shit you know what i mean yeah because she's like so strong about it and stuff like that and doesn't complain or anything about it that that made me feel a little bit bad as a friend and i was like oh damn it's like i i didn't feel like uh I don't know. It's like I, I almost feel now that she's like, well, whatever issues you've had, like now that's like the normal you when that's not the normal, her normal life, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of like what Javi said. It's like a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff, but, uh, and not in the way like I know I was joking, like oh, focus attention on on me or whatever. But a lot of the stuff is like Javi saying, like if, if you're um, you think it's weird to talk about your emotions or whatever, like it's really not that weird. A lot of people like talking about that, you know? Yeah. Like this weekend when we hung out, uh, me and Halls, we were doing a lot of projects and at the very end, we literally were just talking about like creative processes or what's in our mind, you know, like we talked about it for like a, at least an hour minimum. Yeah. You know, so I was telling, I was like, Hey dude, uh, how do you shut off? You know, like we were talking about stuff like that. Like, cause for me, my brain's always going, I always have to be making stuff. Like I always have to be doing a bunch of stuff. So I can't turn it off. So I like to be like in silence sometimes and block everything. So like we were having like the conversation of, of how that works and it wasn't even weird, you know? So it was like nice to have like that different kind of conversation because we were pretty open with each other about everything, but that was like a little bit different of a conversation uh, that we had. And I didn't think it was like, oh, it's so weird that we're talking about this or it was special. Yeah, it was just like all. normal, you know? Yeah. Like we're just like dissecting each other's like uh, brains. And I mean, hobby, he stays sometimes. I mean, when we, if we usually say a little bit after, I mean, that's some of the talks that we actually yeah. have after the pod, you know, it was just like, they're important to have for sure. Yeah. I feel like most of our conversations after is mostly like, uh, like that, but I would just say, yeah, like, like hobby says, like, don't be afraid to just fucking, everybody tries to be like too hard about shit. I feel like, you know, yeah. especially now, like they try to normalize, like, oh, you got to feel mental health and stuff like that they try to normalize it and like you're still being well they're, yeah they try to normalize it but their flex is to everybody's got to reach out to me to hobby's point instead yeah. of you reaching out to them well if you if you're pro mental health and emotion whatever you've got to make the step towards making that a thing as opposed to oh people should be reaching yeah, out to me being a victim oh because yeah. nobody's helping me that's why i can't change so yeah. nah, that's a really good one yeah that was a good one but, but yeah. i think we're good on that um because I, I don't want to do outro because I actually liked that wholesome advice. I don't want to like take away with the outro. Oh, that's cool. So. Yeah, but we got a lot of stuff coming up. So we're excited for the next year. We'll have specials again for exclusively for sure Thanksgiving and, and Christmas. We don't know if we'll do one for Halloween just because it's literally a couple weeks away, yeah. a week away almost, a week and a half. But uh, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, it's always great to have you guys. Excellent support from all of you. We'll go ahead and, and call it a, a night, a day, whatever time you're listening. But lest we forget, una vez más, y Take care, everybody. Ciao, we, guys. we love you all.